Right, I am Mark, your harsh and uncompromising rules bastard. And if you are sitting comfortably, we'll begin. <laughs> the caravan Amketch of the Merchant House of Corodius makes its way painfully slowly across the tablelands. Our heroes have signed on board to plumb the mysteries of the illicit shakat beetle trade. Tick-sized beetles that are being altered such that their bite causes uh, problems with sarnics. Um, it's not the kind of thing you want to wake up finding in your bed if you're a sarnicist, or anyone really, but particularly not if you're a sarnicist. After a couple of sessions of careful investigation, our heroes discovered that the caravan master himself, Lala Rash, was behind it all. <gasps> Unexpected. Um, so yeah, he's having a really bad time right now. Um, they captured him and beat him up and whipped him and took his nipple off at one point, Grendy, I want to say, and then it got healed back. Yeah, his, and... his left one. Yeah. yeah. Specifically. <laughs> wow. Okay. Like super specific that got there for a little while. Um, but anyway, he's currently in captivity aboard the caravan. Our heroes have taken control of the caravan itself because their mission says not only do they have to find out who is smuggling the beetles, but also why they're doing it, how they're doing it, and put a stop to it. Investigations point to the involvement of House Shom, whom were dubbed House Shmam by Luke and last session, um, which I think they should be called forever after. House Shmam uh, are engaged in sponsoring the beetle trade for, well, I mean, just because they're bastards, really. But there may be uh, other plans at hand. Our heroes need to figure this out. And so despite the fact that they know there may well be a ambush waiting for them, they, it's like a pork tree, but worse. They have proceeded along the road to uh, the fortress of Al Taruk, where the caravan is supposed to meet its destination, where the beetles are to be offloaded, where House Shom is quite probably waiting for them. But our heroes know they know, even though House Shom know that they know that they know, and so on and so forth. Now, as I say, across the tablelands, leaving Fort Calvis behind. The Amketch grinds its way down the People's Road, curving onward toward Alterok. You had to uh, assign a new caravan captain, and as I recall, Suxis was given that job. Um, also, you have had to assign a new Master of Provisions after Dalgra, the previous one fled the caravan with your assistance after revealing to you vital information about Lala Rash's involvement. Um, we can just assume that it's Kellen, a, a female mool. Um, she was Dalgra's right hand, unless you have any other particular preferences to, over who gets to decide where the bits of broken leather go to be repaired. I don't suppose it's that important. At any rate, Fort Calvis is a day or so behind you. Alterook, according to the map, which I am currently displaying smoothly on roll 20. There it is. Alterook is a couple of days ahead. So you're just about here. Leaving the last dregs of the verdant belt behind, heading into scrub plains, stony barrens, right along the shores of the Great Stilt Estuary, up to the Taruk Mountains, and Al Taruk itself. Like I say, about another two and a half days' travel. As you leave Calvis behind, as you have surmised, dangers of some kind or other probably lie ahead for you. Are there any immediate preparations you wish to make in that regard? Or are we just going to trundle forward to meet our destinies Caravan. oh and uh, one more question sorry before i before i hand the um the chaotic flow of the narrative over to you guys uh, where exactly are you keeping lalarash there was some talk about putting him in the cargo compartment um but i don't know whether that was i merely believe in, in jest or uh i believe we're keeping him in his room with a yeah. rotating watch of him mm -hmm. um is is what i believe was the case but is that um, is, is that the one which uh, is that room uh, um easy to to make sure that he can't escape from it do you want me to bring up the larger map yes please 
Let's briefly, let's briefly We're assess that. We're talking about that. Lalaresh's room, right? Yeah. Because there's only he one might... way out of that room, and it's the door. But he might have hidden compartments in there or something. That no, to... you're quite. That's quiet. why he's tied up. So, so <laughs> he would he would be in here. In the master's cabin, according to that particular scheme of yours. Yeah, he's still tied up anyway, so. He is tied up, yes, yes. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing only two levels at the moment. Oh, wait, I have, have to you, zoom out. You, no, sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Your map is wrong. Oh, wait. Oh, wrong <laughs> no, no, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the best place. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It is what it is. Uh, we have to put a guard there. Also, it might be well ventilated, because if you put him in the cargo hold, he might suffocate. Yeah. It does have a couple of little arrows, he can't crawl out of those. Um, no. Do you want to have uh, one of the caravan guards stationed there? Uh, no, I mean, I thought I feel it... like... I thought it. Sorry, I thought it was going to be rotation of us. Yeah, that's I think what that's I that's yeah. probably best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, whatever you like. I mean, Siora would probably honestly volunteer most of the time. Sure. Um, so if anyone needed to do other things, she would be down to just kind of uh, sit in there and and annoy him. Um, <laughs> so, so, but I'm far so, too old for guard duty. So why don't yeah. we why don't we why don't we rotate between Siora and uh, uh, and and Darjay? Okay. Yep. I think Skathis, that's... would you want to join or now? Nah? Because I think you're guarding other things. I, I think yeah. I think we need to also be prepared for the the the, the possibility of somehow them having uh, communicated uh, to kill this caravan on the way to Alterok. That's yeah, fair. I'm still guarding the caravan itself. So we need to guard the caravan and put extra guards out and make sure that that uh, that we are kind of ready to 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 handle whatever they throw against us. Well, Scathers right? can take charge of that then. I would say also, so. We, ha we have a nice big catapult on the deck. That is true. Right now, just as I mentioned, you really you need to be really on really your mic because it's it's not it's not picking you up unless you're right uh, on unless you're licking it. Hello. There you go. News reporter. Have you got it on? Make out that with that, that mic. That made no difference. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's Can better. you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, can you tap it? No. I think you're on you the wrong mic. I think you're on the wrong mic. Take a moment to double check that. Ch check soon. Um, yeah. While uh, uh, Sierra will have occasionally called in a thicket to heal uh, Lala Rash, um, very occasionally. Um, because he, he he hurt himself by accident. You know how it happens. Um, yeah. Is there any uh, steel sheath arrows in the cargo by chance? Uh, Actually, no. I, I, that's Kyrodus' stash. I probably shouldn't use any of that. Um, I don't believe there were actually no. That's there were short, fine. There were, I'll leave there, were, it. there were there were short swords, as far as I remember. That's what you mentioned last game. There were short steel short swords. Yeah. Yeah. But then I I'm I'm concerned about um. Yeah, Sorry, I'm concerned about the people can you hear using me? them. Yeah, we can hear you. Yep. Um, I want to um, confer with Scarthis to uh, see what the battle readiness is of our of our troops. Um, also, to see what um, if the shit hits the fan, uh, we can actually uh, um, you know trust them to to stick stick around and fight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the normal uh, array of the caravan, and I will I will go back to the. Um... To the uh, the uh, outrider map for you. Okay, that's all sorts of weird stuff under there. What is all that stuff there? How odd. There are extra guards there that don't need to be there. Okay, right. So there you go. Um, oh, there's a whole bunch of them. The normal uh, layout is half a dozen guards around the caravan itself. You can see that here. Yeah. Yeah. And then two patrols of outriders of half a dozen each. And they range up to the uh, up and uh, ahead of the caravan. Um, inside the caravan, there's an during the day, there are another 12 foot guards who come out and guard the camp at night, and another single patrol of outriders who rest and patrol at night. 
So during the night time, these numbers are reversed, basically. Kind of like uh, this. I'm I'm not, at, night, at night time, it looks like this. Okay. At night time, so you've got two patrols of footmen and one of uh, and one of cank riders. And the canks never rest, right? Um, they do. There are there are there are three three scout patrols, and they they rest when they're not on patrol. But where do the canks that are not currently out riding go? Um, they walk along uh, next to the caravan itself. Oh, okay. But okay. for them, that's I mean, it's you know, half their movement rate or less. Oh. Um, do, do I think I can trust the outriders to follow orders, or at the very least, be effective or reliable? in the event that something goes you, down. You know, you're not entirely sure that if the shit hits the fan that any of the troops are going to be reliable, but almost certainly not Arazo and his bunch. Okay. It's gonna, it, it, it will require some uh, fairly concerted uh, efforts from you to um, to keep them under control. So I suggest... I mean, they, they, they've been, <clears throat> they've had their morale thoroughly rattled by recent events. The, yeah. uh, the abortive attack on the caravan the um, absconding of Dalgra, the apparent treachery of Lalarash. The mood isn't good. So we need to maybe uh, have a discussion with them to pump their morale and maybe incentivize them a little bit to, to stick around. What do you think? I, I suggest that uh, you and me, Scarthis, um, uh, make a meeting with uh, with the, the troops in general? I would agree with that. You can try and inspire them if you'd like. I will find my own way to motivate them. Mm -hmm. You need to um, somehow make a buddy buddy with the half elf. I know it. Uh, yeah. Is uh, a, a hard ask. <laughs> I would rather replace him entirely. We don't have that option. Knew... You know it. And we need him to buy the loyalty of his other outriders. So somehow you need to make friends with him. They're already not friends but I will try. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I put him in uh, in control of things? Do you think that will uh, make him uh, happy? I would be very wary of that. Yeah. He already suffers from a big head. I know. Which always can be removed if push comes to shove, you know? Mm. <laughs> Well, but you know, if he thinks he can keep his big head and you know, be big heady about it, it's fine as long as he does what we want. You are right. I will see what I can do. It's actually as you're having this discussion that you hear a shout in the near distance and what sounds like the clash of weapons coming from somewhere not too far away from the caravan. Yells of alarm and panic come from some of the, uh, the nearby guards, those stationed around the caravan itself. You hear one of them shout, The Outriders! The Outriders are under attack! Gif! Gif! Scathus is going to run out there in alarm, looking for the Gith, uh, hand going for his sword. Okay, um, so you run out presumably onto the main battle deck, which is your immediate view of the, uh, of the surroundings. They are swarming down toward the caravan from all sides as it winds its way along the rocky people's road. 10, 20, 30, you lose track somewhere around 30 or 40, trying to take them all in. A whole raiding war clan of Gith racing toward the caravan. Um, your group, your guard, should I say, are completely outnumbered. Um, as the panic spreads throughout the caravan, the mechalots bellow as the wagon shudders and halts. Um, you can hear hatches slamming down below as the slaves run for cover. Uh, 
panic floods through the guards. Um, given that you're on the deck, actually, I'm going to... You can might as well see what it looks like. All the little blue counters are uh, Gith Raiders. A couple of war leaders here. Wow. What appears to be some kind of command post on an archway over the road. These are your outriders. You can see the patrols there. And this is the Thought. wagon. Would the catapult be a good option if we aimed for the arch? Uh, the catapult would be an excellent option. Um, the catapult normally takes eight rounds to prepare for battle. Okay, however... Um, Halted Fen has proficiency in the uh, in speedy siege work, so that'll lower it down to four rounds. And you can be loaded in four rounds and fired every four rounds. Um, yeah. I, I suppose we should roll for initiative, really. Mm -hmm. um, anybody who wants to get outside the caravan can 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 plop their car their their counters there. Um, anyone who wants to be positioned inside the caravan, um, I will flip back and forward between the two maps. And you can place your guys where you need to. Uh... I'm going to be, if we're right with Daje, I'll be watching Lalaresh, and I will probably stay in that room. Um... Yeah, so I mean, I was thinking, uh, since I'd sort of probably already be on the top deck at the Master's Cabin, I'll run out to where uh, Scathis is um, yep. and provide aid with my bow, hopefully. Okay, cool. If they get too close, short sword. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I will be up top trying to help man the uh, catapult. Um, I, I'm sure Hulk, Captain Fenn can uh, handle rallying men toward it, but if need if need be, I'll start the shout. To the catapult! We'll aim oh, for the arch! Nice. Okay, I'm just adding uh, things to the initiative uh, counter. Okay, um, should we get the foot soldiers in so that we can just use uh, the protection of the the the, uh, the, the our little for fortress and that they can shoot with the uh, with with bows? Yes. Um, I, I look at Scottis. Maybe you can give that order. Uh, he nods and he will relay that. Um... And I suppose we should actually focus our outriders on one on one corner. Hmm. Okay, so do you want Halted Fen out on the field of battle or in the caravan itself? I think he should be helping to lower the number of rounds it takes to load the fire okay, the catapult. So he, right, he'll, work, he'll we'll put him on the catapult. I will just uh, drag his counter there to um, to make it clear what's going on. Are these squares five feet? These squares are indeed five feet. Oh, uh, no, sorry, these squares are ten feet. Okay. Okay, guys, um, initiative rolls from all of you, please. Oh, Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to measure something. <laughs> oh, typical. <laughs> Did you roll a ten again? Yeah. Well done. <laughs> it's getting kind of a, a thing. Uh, okay. Uh, spells. Where is it? There it is. Does that do anything? Yes. So I'm inside, but I will be probably firing through the arrow slits, but just, um, I put myself on there just so I can be added to that's the cool. yeah, that's turn ha tracker. That's, that's handy, yep. And one more roll from me. Okay, uh, I've got a couple of dead tokens here that 
I don't, again, don't appear to be able to remove. Weird. Ignore those two zeros at the top. Okay, um, down below then, uh, the Argosy guards having alerted you to the imminent danger, um, stare up toward the command deck. You can see them quailing, panicking, and unless something uh, happens to uh, to rally them, it's almost clear they're gonna they're gonna uh, make a break for it and run. And you can see the uh, the outriders themselves are looking in a similar position. In fact, Arazo is looking around, shouting, "Outriders, to me! This is beyond us!" Okay, so. Argosy guards lose their action this round through com through complete panic. Um, begin to look between running back into the into the Argosy or fleeing for their lives off and across the surrounding countryside. Scarthus. Uh, okay. Um, this wasn't the uh, order the, given for them to run to the Argosy. I don't know. No one's there. Your, initi your initiative counts haven't come up yet. Ah, ah. ah fair enough. Right. Um, this Gith war leader hefts a short bow, takes aim at the nearest of the guards, and fires. Arrow flies through the air, strikes the guard solidly in the chest. He gives a horrified scream and drops dead outright the arrow protruding from his chest. Uh, this prompts now an immediate morale check from the guards as the first of their numbers has fallen. Okay, for the time being at least, uh, they hold the bulk of the Argosy behind them, offering them at least some re uh, reassurance that their lives are not necessarily immediately gonna, gonna fall. Um, this Gith war leader here rushes forward and directly engages um, the leader of that so outrider group, which happens to be Arazo. Uh, Arazo's can kind of rears up on his hind legs, clacking. The elf gives a panicked shriek as uh, the war leader swings for him with an obsidian spear. Arazo manages to pull the kank to the side and the blow goes wide. At the same time as that is happening, Senex. Um, I am 10 yard radius. Uh, is, uh, are any of them within range of 10 yard radius? 10 yards is 30 feet. That's three squares. But oh, they're moving into that though, aren't they? What are you doing? I am going to prepare, um, it's called telepathic projection, um, for anyone that comes into range, like an aura, mm -hmm. I'm going to change, potentially, hopefully, I'll cast it for, uh, I will manifest it first, I will try to manifest it first. That is yep. a success, so and manifest. I will yep. manipulate it, please. Uh, with that. <clears throat> a success. Yep. And that changes their... I can change it to whatever I want, basically. So when they're coming in, I'm assuming there's hatred. I'm going to change it to love, and hopefully they'll fight for us. Okay. And that's a 30-yard radius around you. Yes. And I will get to the closest I can. I will get to where the guards is it, is it, are. Sorry, did you say 30 yards? Uh, it's a 10-yard radius. Okay. So 30 feet. Yeah, so any of them that come into contact with us. Okay, so it's. can you see it on the map? I, I'm... To, to make it fit the overlay, I'm zoomed out, so it's really hard for me to see. Okay. I will, I, I, I will it move. Looks like I, I, can, I can see it on Twitch. Oh, so I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, okay, I'll, okay, I'll cool. move basically to the to the back to where the guards are. Try and cover the guards. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, uh, Darjay and Scathis, actually. And I will hide there somewhere behind a box or something, so I'm undercover. Yeah, nice. Uh, Scathis, you want to go first? Uh, sure. So the catapult is being dealt with, is that right? I don't need to do anything on that. Uh, yeah, um, uh, Halted Fen is roaring at the guards on top of the on, of the Argosy. Load faster, crank faster, for our lives, for our lives! 
wonderful. Uh, I believe Zuxus wanted me to try and get the attention of the Outriders. Um, I am going to stand at the edge of the uh, top of the caravan, the, the deck of it, and uh, uh, you know what? I, if I still have that whip, I'm going to crack it in the air. Yeah. And, and shout, Outriders! Rally uh, yourselves, you cowards! Okay, your voice rings out across the field of battle. Um, and you can see them kind of looking around. Uh, Arazo, struggling control his, to control his can, shouts back at you, We're outnumbered! We must flee or die! Focus on one side. Scathis, any response? If you scatter, they will surely pick you up. We must stay together. Arazo nods. On me, he shouts, on me! And uh, he's actually on a nine, so you can see the guards looking around, waiting for him to give an order as he swallows his fear. Any action from Scathis? Uh, is there anything I could do to, to manually help with the catapult? No, you could, of course, leap down off the caravan and start murdering Gif, but that's about the only other thing that's immediately obvious to you. That's not out of the question. Um, <laughs> how far a leap is it? Um, okay, so uh, the leap would be 30 feet to the ground. You don't have acrobatics, so that's, that would do 3d6 damage to you. Um, alternatively, you could, you could spend the rest of the round running down the stairs and out onto the uh, field of battle for next round. Running downstairs would make more sense. Leaping is way cooler. And it would is look for, and would, <laughs> it look would look very look inspiring. Fun. And I might roll really badly. Do I'm it, you leap. coward. Do you have, yeah! have that if, <laughs> if only to be an inspiring sight to the Outriders, who I'm trying to rally. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. Why is it rolling Ten. so many dice? Okay, 11. All right, you sail over the edge of the Argosy, bounce off the back of one of the Macalots, and roll to the ground, battered and bloody. There's actually blood coming out of one of your nostrils, but you're on your feet. There's a roar goes up from the Outriders as you hit the ground, um, proving your desire to, uh, well, to put your blood where your mouth is. Um, so let's pop you over to there, shall we? And um, take away some hit points. Utterly fucking Fair badass. Enough. Okay, uh, Darjay. Um, yes. How fast is the movement rate of the Outriders? Uh, the Outriders are on Kanks. So they have movement rate 15. Oh, so I could keep up with them. Easily. Okay. Um, I guess uh, I will um, lend my scales and my strength to the Outriders, and I would like to do what Scathis just did, but I'm going to use my acrobatics to get down. Okay. <laughs> I've decided. But uh, if I don't Parkour. roll well enough. Oh, you, you land on Parkour. Scathis. <laughs> That's a pass, right? Uh, I didn't see the roll come by. 16. Uh, yes, that is a pass. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Great. So you bounce nimbly down the side of the Argosy, land on the ground next to him. Let's just pull you over there. Yes. Or anywhere, anywhere, really. Um, and uh, wherever uh, Akaraka Avocado is so, gone, so um, Avocado going. Avocado is over here. Uh, Azo Arazo is this guy here, the leader on the on this side. Uh, I'm not seeing a ping. Did you see the Gith raider that's attacking the Kang? Oh, that one there. This yeah, one. That, that's him there. Okay, so. Um... Can I spend the round getting over there then? Uh, with your movement rate, you can. What have we got? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-four. You can run over there and engage the guy uh, uh, with it. That's completely within your combat move. Uh -huh. Yes, crazy, please. Crazy fast. Okay, so okay. You race across the intervening ground. <laughs> are, you, yeah, are, you are you foaming at the mouth? Obviously, I'm going. <laughs> His, armor <laughs> <laughs> His armor class is fourteen. Okay. Uh, Let's try out that poisoned weapon, shall we? Ah, uh, yeah. Short sword bone. Hit. Oh, that's a miss by one point, but given that you were charging, <laughs> you, you actually engage in a charge, so that makes it a hit. Oh, okay. Nice. So, uh, is it large? Uh, he's medium. A medium. Okay. 
And then what, what kind of uh, da- uh, poison was it? Okay, he makes the poison save uh-huh. um, and takes 20 points of damage. Oh, it's one a of good one ones. then. <laughs> it was a very good one, yeah. Uh, he screams as the poison bites into his system and you can see green bile frothing at the corner of his giffy mouth. Mm. Good shot. Hit him again. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. Give me a second, please. Weird. Okay, uh, I just need a moment. Something weird has happened to my screen. There we go. Okay, good. Right. Um, From his position over here, one of the gifts steps forward to the edge of the precipice and begins casting. Uh... That changes that to an 11. You can see the ground around him blackens with defiling energy. Fabulous. (laughs) Yep. Uh, Next to him, a particularly tall and beefy looking gith shouts commands, uh, ordering uh, various gith battle groups to perform this way and that way, um, and other than that, only surveys the field of battle. The Argosi scouts, having been given their orders, uh, all of them fall back in tight formation to the front of the Argosi. Uh, he has rapid retreat, so Arazo does not take any attacks of opportunity, and leaves you facing the Gith war leader alone. Um, the others come hurtling back around the side of you, Kank's mandibles and feet drumming on the ground, getting into tight formation around the edge of the uh, of the caravan. Um, and then the Gith raiders are upon them. They come forward in a howling, seething tide, swooping down from the surrounding sands and rocks and engaging the Kank Riders in an immediate tight melee, oh, except for this one here, who stops and stands around looking at him, looking at the surrounding terrain um, in some degree of wonderment and smiling up at you on top of the... Uh, on top of the caravan. Right, I make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Their blows land true and fast, and before your horrified eyes, one after another, after another, after another of the northern group of outriders fall, including this guard here. Um, Absolute panic rushes through the ranks of the caravan guards. They are no match for this Gith warband, and... Um, Scathis, you see them being slaughtered before your very eyes. Uh, cut down all six or seven of them in mere moments. Uh, the one that was next to you, likewise, takes a lunging stab for you. That's a natural 20 maximum damage, uh, which is a, a heady five points of damage from his obsidian spear toward you, Scathis, which rakes your side getting under your armor. Uh, the Gith Defiler finishes his spell, and from his outstretched hand, there is the sound of a thunderbolt, Ka-koom! and a lightning bolt erupts and forks, streaking outward to strike Darjay and Scathis both. Uh, I want to saving throw some spells against you two, please. Having a bad time. And you can add your dex bonuses to this if you have them. Darja, that's a fail. Um, Scathis, 
your Wait, is dex... the is the dex bonus uh, added into the roll that's on the sheet? It wouldn't matter because you rolled a two. Oh. Scathis, you have a dex bonus <laughs> of plus one, which turns your thirteen into a fourteen, and means you pass. Just. Scathis, you only take ten points of damage from the lightning bolt that slams into you. Darje, unfortunately, you take the full twenty-one. Uh-oh. That leaving would have killed on, me two levels ago. I know, leaving you on 11 hit points. Your small purple body is racked with high-level energies. You caught crackling sparks hurtling from your body. All of a sudden, these surrounding roars of gith sound much more threatening as the next warband races in. Three of them surrounding you with their war leader, and the others use their full move action to close in upon the Outriders. Oh, just go away. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Things are beginning to look grim. Um, and let's take three attacks against you there from those raiders. Darnage, one, two, three. Uh, a single hit, a natural 20 there. Um, and from the Obsidian Spear, that's another five points of damage to you, leaving you on a paltry six hit points. All of a sudden, your bout of heroism seems to have landed you in a particularly bad situation, surrounded on all sides by murderous, slavering gif. Thicket. Um, I am casting Entangle mm -hmm. on that... Um, I see there's vegetation kind of here. You can imagine, yeah, you can imagine this. As I said, you're on the edge of the scrub plains. There's actually small vegetation everywhere. All right, so I'm going to, uh, if I can, I'll try and. It's a 40 foot uh, cube, yeah, so four squares. Yeah. So I can. Can I just aim it anywhere? Yeah, anywhere or you do want. I have to, uh, okay. Well, I obviously want to maximize how many people I capped. Um, I guess this group here. Wait. I need to draw this, can you, don't I? Are you able to draw it? You can just draw it. Yes, I should be able to. Hold on. Yeah. Um, let's say these guys up up here near Scathis. That group. Can you see that? Yeah, got it. So there's an entangle there. Yeah. Um, I... Uh, uh, Sorry, uh, what was it? Yeah, I produced the the, the holy symbol of uh, Castramandus and uh, rub it across my palm, whispering uh, the words of power and let it let the uh, let the vegetation speak. It erupts from the ground, writhing, whipping around the ankles of the uh, the three entangled gifts, holding them firmly in place. They snarl and sputter, but are unable to move. Um, they, I believe, let me check, they, they get, uh, they get a save, I believe, and if they save, they can, they can move, uh, at 10 feet per round until they're free of the area. Okay, no, that's a fail. I'm just gonna roll from them as a group. They're okay. held. Siora. Um, this Gith war leader here, am I able to uh, fire at him from the arrow slit? Yes, absolutely. Right. I am going to, um, yeah, hearing the charges, immediately get up from the bed that I was lounging on, uh, pull <laughs> out my uh, steel sheath arrows, and I'm going to try and fire and hit this important looking guy. Oh, no! Oh, the arrow three. flies past a bit. You get two shots around. All right, so that's a three first, and then a twenty. Does that hit? But oh, the twenty is a hit. Yes, he's on. Oh, I, I see the other one. Yeah, there's only armor class fourteen. Um, and then that it <laughs> only two damage. I saw you rolled a six there. Wait, what? I see three twenty, and then two. Yeah, let me just look at your sheet. I mean, I'll take the six if there's yeah. a six. <laughs> if take... it was for steel, there shouldn't be a penalty. Oh. 
That's very odd, and your strength is not... Nope, okay, no, that, that should be a straight six. I don't know why it's doing that. Let me have a closer look at that number. Oh. Weird, take the six. I'll take it. Um, I'll take it, and then I'll refresh my roll 20. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um, he's badly injured from that. The arrow punches clear through him, clatters against the ground on the on the far side, and he bleeds copiously onto the sand. Success. Uh, Success. Uh, twangs um, a crossbow bolt at um, uh, the other leader that's standing in front of. Uh, our wounded uh, little lizard friend, yeah. Yep. I'm class 14. There we go. Is it rolling? That's a natural one. You're kidding. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm shit with ice. <laughs> That's really quite surprising. Yeah. And uh, things are going, okay. going. Ends up killing Darjay. Yeah. Okay, end of round. I'm just going to clear the initiative count here and roll it again. Uh, so, initiative, initiative again from everyone, please. Um, real quick, Mark, are there any sources of fire in the area? There's, with the within the Argosy itself, can, can I can I lanterns and stuff? Can I give uh, an order to the the soldiers to go inside? On your count, on your initiative count, yes. So I could not I could not shoot and make it an order. Uh, oh, you mean oh. from on, on last round? Yes, yes. You would need to have done so. So you have to wait for your initiative count. Okay. Uh, are there any people in the in the Argosy with us that um, that I could ask to do something for me? So there are additional. There are still additional guards inside. There's about another fifteen odd guards inside. Um, the the other two patrols of uh, of footmen and uh, another patrol of outriders. So you can add. You can order them to join on the field of battle or do stuff inside as well. The slaves have barricaded themselves into the kitchen and they're not coming out. Okay. Um, just let me roll a couple of initiative checks here. Then I have a, a plan. Six and a three. Casting two, six. Okay, initiative. Argosy Scouts, right. Um, the surviving Argosy Scouts uh, are, and so this is actually Arazo's group, now give the fight back to the enemy, um, determined to hold their ground outside the uh, outside the Argosy itself. That's an awful, horrendous set of rolls. Oh, wrong. Jesus of Christ. How did that even happen? Oh what my days. I think there's uh, something wrong here. On my screen, it's you've rolled a seven. Yeah, on the right hand side, it says three. Yeah, none of their rolls are a seven. Yeah. Oh, that is weird. Dark... We're There's all getting different. On. Yeah, we're getting different roles. That's very strange. Okay. I'm going to roll those again and watch them closely as the, as the dice come by and see if there's any differences. Just to see if there's something weird going on with the. Uh... Yeah, that's bizarre. So that one worked. Yeah. That one worked. Yeah, they are. Those are the, those are correct. Those two are correct, yeah. And that one. Yeah. That one's correct. Yep. Keep these rolls instead of the other ones. <laughs> yes, I was about to say these are much yeah, nicer yeah. rolls. <laughs> there was something suspect with the other ones. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with one, two, yeah, three, four hits. There, we'll go with those. Um, just because those the last ones were clearly not representing the dice properly, um, yes. and it is in, it is enough to take down uh, one. Two and three of the foremost gif. Um, Arazo shouts a, uh, a roar of uh, 
of victory as his men manage to hold their ground. Behind you, there is a solid thunk as the weaponry is loaded into the catapult and the cranking begins. Um... The Gift Defiler begins casting again. Uh, the commander shouts uh, further orders now to the group behind the Argosy who've been holding back. Uh, the Argosy guards next. You said uh, you, you, chatted an you, you were shouting an order for them to go inside? Carl? Nodding, nodding aggressively. Yeah, I'm yes. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I said yes. Yeah. Okay. So the and, surviving and to shoot bows from the inside. Yeah. Yep. The surviving Argosy guards turn and hurry back inside the Argosy, running up the steps, pulling the doors closed behind them. Okay. Um, the surviving Gith war leader charges forward to engage Scathis in direct personal combat swings with his weapon wildly misses uh, the other one swings for Darjay hey that is a hit Darjay hey. run away Darjo takes five damage, leaving you clutching a single hit point to your scaly purple chest. A slashing blow all but takes your life from you, and yet, alone on the field of battle, you cling to life. Senex. I am going to manifest aversion attempt. I'm actually not seeing any. Hang on. Uh, go ahead. Uh, come on. Why is that saying four? Mark, just so you know, I'm enlisting the help of some people inside the caravan to do my initiative thing. Okay. 26. And I am going to manipulate that. We should see. Which also worked. Okay, so I plant a fear inside the um, defiler. For yeah. A version. So it, it classes as a fear spell, and the actual fear is of heights of where he is, currently is. He's up high, so he's got a fear of being, because I can do it to an event, a place, but basically he's a fear of the area he's currently in. So he has to flee. He has to flee. Okay. Uh, that interrupts his spell. He screams, drops the material components of a web spell, um, and turns and runs away down the side of the uh, of the of the outcrop and sits at the bottom, <sighs> looking up at the heights, <laughs> shaking his head, terror on his uh, little reptilian <clears throat> face. Nicely done. Um, okay. Uh, right. Um, these Gith raiders charge forward and then come to a complete stop. For some reason, they love me. The fury and anger of their attack is gone from them. And same for all this bunch here. They no longer have any desire to, uh, <laughs> to engage in slaughter. They're like, wow, he's so handsome. What? They're just kind of staring up, their eyes gleaming with emotion at the, uh, the heights of the Argosy. Just... Do you know what? I was sitting here thinking, oh my god, I'm useless in this fight. 
No, you've done some astounding work here. Um, this bunch, however, are under no such illusion. One, two, three, four of them able to engage from that side. And uh, engage they do. One, two, three, three four. That's a single hit and is sufficient to bring down another of Arazo's outriders. The battle still turns against you. And then we have the ones around Darje. Uh, I see nothing above a 17 there. Every single attack misses you, Darje. Uh, you dance nimbly left and right as the blades bite the sand, swish through the air, and fail to contact with you. You live for yet another few moments. Holding your single hit point. Yeah. Uh, Scathis. Right. Um, I'm going to swing my mandible sword at the... Hmm... Mm. The war leader's almost finished off. Uh, I'm going to swing it at the gift to my west. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a nat, nat one always yeah. misses. Is that right? Nat one always misses. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I'm going to try with the second hit. Uh, Keep in mind, this is not represented, but it is a uh, it is a plus two to hit and damage, right? Yes. So his armor class is twelve, so that's a ten, and the plus two brings it up to uh, to a hit. Surrounded by and completely outnumbered, uh, your fighting ability increases. Which would make that twelve damage. Uh, which is enough to bring him down with a brilliant, eviscerating strike. Having done that, um, he will turn and sort of clash blades with the uh, uh, war leader and uh, sort of binding them together. He presses, it, presses in, then suddenly lunges forward and snaps with his jaws at the leader's face. I'm a class 14. Hit. And he had, he, he had but five hit points remaining and is promptly throated. Uh, All right. He gargles, screams, or screams and gargles, whichever order you like, and then falls. Yep. Tear his face off with my jaws, then run uh, further into... Uh, into the gift to my west and spit uh, their leaders um, own flesh at them before whirling around and trying to hit them with my uh, razor. <laughs> so this small group here are entangled. You see the square? Yeah. That's an entangled area. So Okay, I'll go here. north then. I'll go north okay. then. I won't worry about them. Yeah. Another nat one. What is going on with these dice? Dice gods frown upon us today. That's Truly, terrible. The, uh, uh, the dice on my screen shows an eighteen, but on the, on your on on the thing it shows a one. I have no idea what's going on here. What is going on there? Okay, yeah, that's, that's really very cool. strange. Yeah. Um. Okay. We'll take the eighteen. No, we'll, we'll go with we'll, we'll go with what's in the in the chat because the uh, unfortunately, yeah, the, the graphic um, can be um, can be wrong. I'm going to try and hit him with my uh, shield bash then. Yep. Uh, nine damage with the shield bash, my goodness. Wild. Okay, uh, sorely injured, uh, he staggers backward, blood spraying from his battered, bruised, and broken features. 
Okay. I just love that you damage one and they're all now damaged. Great. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> you, you are indeed powerful, Scathis. <laughs> well, I don't know my own strength. Uh, that's my turn. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're, they're, they're running off a, single, off a single character sheet, so there you go. Um, Darjay. Okay, so I had enough movement to make it here? Yes. I have enough movement to make it back? Yes, you do. I'm doing that then. Okay. Lacking rapid retreat. No, get don't against... say it. I'm not moving yet. I knew it. I'm just going to go <laughs> chameleon. I'm just going to disappear in front of their oh, eyes. Yeah, okay. Yes. So you roll behind a, uh, a small outcrop or uh, lay yourself against a piece of brush and go completely flat and immobile. Mm -hmm. And they're literally like... One of kind of prods at a bit of ground. But no, that's, that's, <laughs> not, that's not you. Maybe that yeah. stick. Ah, no, that's not him either. Where's he gone? Lying flat and motionless, yeah. you are saved. Must have been the wind. Must have been. <laughs> from a certain death. At the same time as that, Siora. Um, I am going to... Seeing the look on ad of admiration on these kids' faces, assuming yep. that they're not a danger to us, I'm going to fire at the ones who... I think I can only see out this side, um, heading north of the map, so I'm going to fire at the ones that are fighting Scathis. Yeah, okay. Um... This time I'll be using bone arrows because I run out of my steel ones. A 9 and an 18. I presume the only the 18 hits, maybe. Yes, the 18 is a hit, yes. Um, uh, two damage. Uh, the one that he was fighting, uh, that is enough to kill him. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> and he goes down. I wonder if it's because there are so many counters in the map that it can't handle it or something. But it's uh, maybe. Do, do, do we know, uh, like, can I hear that them above me doing the cannon? Yeah, you can hear that it's almost ready to fire. I just yell, hurry up! <laughs> Any second now! Hold it, fight. It'll be next round. Uh, Zuxis. Uh, Zuxis uh, <clears throat> shoots her crossbow at... Uh, the same guy she was shooting before, trying to relieve the pressure on uh, um, our lizardly flan, who's just disappeared. Yes. Go, armor class 14. Boom. Can't be worse than it was before. Don't say that. You're it's still not it. great. No, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you and your big mouth. Oh. <laughs> the bolt flies out. You lose sight of it against the, uh, against the landscape. And then finally, at the end of the round, thicket and your big plan for something. Okay. Yes, go I, ahead, Carl. I instruct the soldiers to start shooting, for God's sake, out of the windows. From... Okay. Um, they haven't been shooting at all, as far as I know. No, nope. Um, and they will get on their get down on their initiative next round. All right, go ahead. Yes. Um... So basically, I turn to the, the the randos in the in the in the in the room with me, and I was like, "Oil lamps, lanterns, torches, anything! Throw them on that bush over there." Okay, so a small group of guards um, who have been preparing themselves to launch arrows out of, uh, grab some of the lanterns and uh, small uh, small cooking lamps, and start hurling them over the top of the deck, and you can see them smashing and spattering down on uh, some of the, the dry scrub brush, which immediately... Okay, and I cast pyrotechnics on it. Whoa! Cool. Um, okay. So pyrotechnics in this particular version is going to um, cause a thick, writhing stream of smoke to arise from the source and form a choking cloud that lasts for a round per experience level of the caster, covers a ground, a roughly hemispherical volume from the ground f or uh, up, that totally obscures vision from beyond two feet. The smoke fills a volume a hundred times that of the fire source. Um, and it uses one fire source, so presumably that bush as the as the as the fire source. A hundred source. times. Yes, a hundred <laughs> times. Well, um, given that it's a, a single five foot bush, that would be five hundred feet. So that's going to be. 
uh, ten squares on the map. Magma lords, hear me! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the roaring eruption of vaporous fumes roll outward from the bush. So, um, pick a spot and then mark off an area ten squares <sighs> around that. Okay, let me just get a circle. Uh, this is no, wait, hold on. Ignore that first little circle because I, I can't even see it. I know it's brown uh, because it's matching the color of my <laughs> brown. Um, can I pick a color? Yes, Any I can color. pick a color. Ooh, here we go. Let's do uh, let's do red. Um, fine. God, how many squares? So you said ten feet, ten squares, one, ten two, squares, three, four, yeah, yeah, five, yeah. six, seven, ten. Well, how about this area here? Ish. Does that work? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, right. So that <laughs> entire area there is full of billowing smoke, preventing anyone from seeing anything within it. Um, okay. It, and... it lasts for five rounds. Yeah, got it. Okay, and that's the end of round. So uh, let's have initiative rolls from everybody's, please. for the scouts and guards, D10 and D10. An eight and a nine, that is terrible. Um, Argosy scouts, eight, Argosy guards. Well, I've been rolling really bad. <laughs> Argosy guards have vanished from the thing, so we'll just add them back. You and me both. Nine. Okay. And... Uh... Darjay. Okay, Anything? so now, now if I move, are they engaged in combat with me? So they won't get an attack? No, they're yeah. They they've moved out of melee range. Uh, I'll, I'll represent that here. They're kind of looking around. So your choices would be: you could quite easily slip away. Alternatively, you could try a backstab. Don't. Don't don't tempt him. Don't. What's <laughs> <laughs> so right. it going to be? You forgot that how many HPs I have. One. You gonna you gonna flee? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm gonna flee back to the Argosy. Back to healing. I'm back. Okay, uh, it's as you break cover that the gift warden is like, <laughs> and pulls his bow and, and takes aim upon your fleeing form. Um, no! He's, he's on initiative four, and you are awake. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm having trouble with my mouse pad. I'm supposed to be here. Darting between the rocks, and behind you, the arrow pings off a stone just as you scurry up the steps and into the. Uh, into the Argosy. I should probably... I go straight to Thicket. <laughs> I was... Pointing at your elbow, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's everything except the elbow. This <laughs> <laughs> elbow is totally fine. <laughs> okay. Um... The Gith war leader leads his troops forward in a charge in this direction and attempts to engage again Arazo directly, um, having seen him escape. And uh, he stabs for the wily elf. Misses, failing to land the blow. It ricochets off Arazo's armor. What? You rolled then, a 19! No, I rolled a 10. It's a 10 in chat. We're going by 10. Oh, no. Oh, chat no. Okay. It's a 19 here. Yeah, it's like, yeah okay, I think, the, I think the, the dice are not rolling properly on, on, on chat. On, on screen. Well, what we're getting in chat is accurate. Because I can hover over it and see what the actual... Uh, oh, just... Hang on a minute. We've just had five on. gifted okay. subs from Stronghold D&D. Thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Very, very generous of you. 
Okay, um, so on initiative six, the Gith Raiders, but more importantly, after having spent a round preparing and now on the fourth round of combat, you hear a voice cry, Holtet Fen's voice cry from the upper deck, FIRE! Right, um, where do you want him to shoot? The arch. arch. The arch. <laughs> the arch. I'd say right about there. Where the where where Prang the war leader is or whatever his name yeah. is. Yeah. Gurgle Prang. butt. I'm I'm so Gurgle. salty that the filer moved. I know, right? Uh, but maybe if we're lucky, he was hiding yeah. underneath it and it just lands on top of him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that hits armor class 23. These things have a plus six to hit anyway. Um, that is a direct hit. Everybody on the top of the arch within three squares of here takes. I even brought it up because I knew I'd need it. Uh, light catapult takes immediately two d ten two d ten damage. Uh, Rolls double one. Oh, no. oh, Ooh. Not bad. Nice. Nice. Okay, so that kills him. And kills him. And kills him. And he takes 15 damage. What about the rock itself? I'm Does the there. rock itself get I'm getting any... there. <laughs> what about the rocks? <laughs> Not made of heads. Talk faster, talk faster. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so the kind of truck flies in a beautiful arc over your head, scatters, hits in a direct spray of stone, killing three of the Gith outright. Their tiny little bodies go pinwheeling in all directions. Uh, you see the wall blown backwards. And then, yeah, the stone has to make a saving throw against crushing blow. Whoops, not a d12. Um, d20, 13. Uh, uh, yeah, I, that might be a fail. Um, I'm just going to... Please. Oh my god. Er, my gird. This would be the best Easter gift It's ever. Easter, please! <laughs> <laughs> It would really tickle me if the uh, if the catapult missile was actually an egg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep, same thing as a 17, that's a fail. Oh, um, okay. Yes, and the entire top of the arch collapses, blown apart by the catapult shot. Um, he falls 30 feet, and the war leader takes a, another... Uh, nine points of damage as he plummets to the ground amidst the rubble and falling debris. Um, nice. His high-pitched yells of pain and fear are sweet music to your ears. <laughs> do, do any uh, of the does the whole way? archway collapse or is it just the middle bit? Uh, the entire middle bit. I will um, give me a pen here. Uh, Mark it so, out. So... Does it take any more gift width? Or... Gift width? Mm -hmm. Gith with. He's down here now. Is that like the wizard version? Yes. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Please feel free to add your own um, own scribbles. <laughs> <to that. laughs> what is that? <laughs> is there a morale uh, check? Oh, uh, yes. There will be a morale check for not all of the gifts, but for some of them. Um. So, where are we here? Gith Raider morale. Yeah. Oh! Uh, that's a fail. Ooh. So, um, this group of Gith flee. They're running away. They're taking some of your drawings with them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this group of Gith ye ye flee. Ye yeah. I love that it says ye on the middle of the ye ground. Yee. That's how just the rocks Four, landed. Five, you don't six, understand. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, yeah. And this group of Gith, likewise here, flee. They're all the ones who are close enough to the commander, effectively they're within his, in it within his command radius, um, using battle system. Rules. To be fair, the ones in the smoke cloud can't see that happen. Well, the smoke cloud can't see it. These ones here are going <laughs> nowhere. They're We've completely so separated happy. them. Yep. Yeah. Um, this group here are determined uh, to, to stay in battle, and they want to leave, these guys here. They really, really want to leave. Um, <laughs> Just go. But they can't. It's over. Yeah. So go home. <laughs> <laughs> my turn. I'm going to go out and greet my new fans. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Gith Raiders. St stand on the balcony um, and just do one of those royal waves. Yep. Yeah, they are going to make do their best to finish off Arazo's people. 
Here we go. Uh, one. Do the Kanks have two. attacks, or do they? Do no, they, they don't. Three. Oh, 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 Jesus! Those are all hits. Those are all hits. Krechnau Tita. Krechnau Feta Tita. One, two, three, and four. I need to. Is that Arasu also gone? Uh, I believe that's Arasu is the only he, one standing. He's the only <laughs> one standing. <laughs> there we go. Um, he sees his men torn to pieces around him, uh, looking around in horror as the get raised, stab, spears thrusting, blades hacking, bodies falling to the ground. Only he, through his superior half elven and agility, managed to remain alive. Is it Kank and sorry? Is it is it uh, yeah Kank and Rider dead or just one of the uh, other? Just just the Riders. Um, right. The Kanks themselves are now kind of once staring around, uh, confused, clacking their mandibles, looking around in terror. Uh, the Githa deliberately not killing them because um, they can be taken and used. Uh, Arazo turns and flees to your side, Scathis, um, and launches an attack against the uh, the Gith in front of you from that position. Good. Fighting back to back. Uh, his blade lands a lancing strike and into one point of damage. Or as you're an embarrassment. <laughs> um, deals a single point of damage to that gith right there. Uh, a bright splash of gith blood in the air, but nothing more than that. Um, the defiler emerges from here and snaps a rapid burst of magic. A trio of magic missiles hurtle across the battlefield and uh, slam into you, um, Senex. Five. So next you take 13 damage from the uh, impact of magical energies. I suppress 12 of those. Okay, leaving you on 26 hit points. Um, the gift of fire is like... <sighs> I look at him and just Bounce. laugh. Wow, rude. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That's uh, us. I stand there <laughs> like that. He let them all hit me in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, somebody's having like like delusions of grandeur now that he's got a, an adoring audience. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Gith commander decides this is not the day he thought it was going to be, and he joins his companions in running. <gasps> no, mar no mirage check needed. He's had enough. The defiler looks behind him. Kugris, um, the commander Kugris shouts something back in Gith, beckoning, beckoning as if to uh, to say the day is lost. Uh, we've had the Gith Raiders. Scathis. Uh, Scathis is gonna start hacking away at Gith. Important question. Well, that's going to hit, but important question. Uh, how badly outnumbered are we still? Are we outnumbered? Yes, you're outnumbered you still. Have you seen the map? I mean, yeah, right. you are. There, there are troops inside. Um, they haven't attacked yet, but this round you're still counted as outnumbered. Okay, so it's it's still at least a plus one. All right, but yeah, yes. they'll hit. Uh... That is in 12 points of damage. Okay, you're attacking the same one that was... Uh... Fighting uh, uh, the, nor the northeast of me. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, um, Arasa gives a shout of encouragement as having already dealt an injury. It's only one hit point, but he doesn't know that. Um, having already dealt an injury to the foe, um, he sees you finish off the job that he started and bring him down. Yep. Slash, step forward over his fallen body, follow up slash on the one uh, now to my southeast. Yep. A great hit. The backside of the mandel sort of rakes across his body. And how much damage do you make that? Ten damage. If I okay, yeah, 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 because you're still adding, number, yeah. but not two to one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, um, he is grievously wounded, um, clutching his side, blood fountaining from a wound that will surely undo him. 
If it went for and the then I just, you're gonna, you're gonna do basically, that anyway. I basically just uh, take my shield and try and hammer him down onto the ground, just sort of trying to make him crumble. Yes. Yep. Uh, and that, yeah, yeah, like, yes, yeah. you knock him to the ground and down he goes, uh, crushed, slain by your sheer overbearing strength. Arazo, you are an outrider, ride out. Kill the defiler, or at least the leader. Make sure he can regroup. Arazo spins his cank around, pulls up a javelin from the side. Yes and uh, turns and races off uh, toward the Defiler in that direction, using his movement. The Defiler is kind of like preparing his next spell. And like, <laughs> what? As, uh, <laughs> as the half-elf comes charging toward him. Um, they got bounced from the initiative count, but at number nine, the guards inside the Argosy open fire. Wow. And I, yes, I count 18 inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, se the 17 um, gif enraptured by your uh, um, by your love, your love potion number nine. You're about um, to lose some audience. You're about to lose some audience, yeah. I'm going to roll this in groups of three. Uh, Would their well, armor class be worse because they're just standing yes. there? Yes. Just. And. Uh, okay, so two of the uh, two of the main onslaughts hit. Uh, two of the volleys hit, and arrows pelt down in a black, murderous rain all around the caravan. And one after another, after another, after another, after another, after another, gith begin falling all around, dropped until only a handful remain. Yeah, Their bodies like littering the ground around. Senex. How the turns have tabled. <laughs> how the turns have, how the tables have, yes. I look to the panic in the Defiler's eyes as he sees the uh, Kank Rider coming towards him. And I reach out to him. You can see the Kank Rider. Hear the Kank Rider. But can you really? And I will manifest sensory suppression. <clears throat> Ooh. Did it do it? I must have clicked on the wrong one. Hang on. I didn't, I didn't see it come by. Yeah, I think I clicked on the thing on the right. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Good roll. <clears throat> and I'm just going to manifest that just for the fun of it. So he's blinded. He's currently blinded. Yeah. Okay. I'll clock, but as I'm here, like reaching out to him, telling him that he can see the Kank Rider, he can hear the Kank Rider. But can he really? Oh, perfect power manipulation. And he is deaf as well. As both okay. his senses <laughs> suddenly failed him. So all he knows is the increasing vibration through the ground as the drumming feet of the Kank. <laughs> and he's still under a fear spell from the uh, the rocks next, next to him. Yeah, so he can't climb up those again. No. no. Okay, and Thicket. I cast Entangle on the group in front of the Mechalots in a nice little square. Like so. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah. They get okay, a saving great. throw. If they can move, uh, if they if they make it, they can move 10 feet per round. They fail. <laughs> they fail, oh, yeah. Quite spectacularly, actually, no. They likewise are entangled and stuck. Um, okay, cool. Uh, Siora. Actually, it's a 40 foot square, but whatever. I am going to. Um, can I actually. Can I see these entangled guys where I am? I'm, I'm just thinking about if I'm looking through an arrow slit in a room. Yeah, you, yeah, you can, totally. Okay, great. Um, then I'm going to attempt to hit uh, them with my bone arrows. A four and then an 18. So first one misses, second one you find your mark. All right. Um, and that is five damage. Um, okay, so if you... The the war leader is pretty badly injured, so... I'll take that one then. 
Yeah, well, um, that's exactly what he has left. Wonderful. Love that. <laughs> and down he goes, arrow through his throat. Success, you're on a 19. That's really good for you. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't really matter because she's reloading her... Uh, <laughs> she's reloading. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that brings us to the end of the round. Um, let's have initiative, please. I'm going to remove this bunch. They flee. I'm going to remove this bunch. They flee. Um, uh, war leaders are... War leaders both dead? Yep, Woolies are both dead. So. Yep, so they can go away. Uh, he's run away. They get an initiative roll. And the gifted fighter really needs an initiative roll to be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, Halted Fen is uh, busy overseeing the uh, catapult again this round. That someone wants to give him a more direct order. Um, we'll have this, the, the scouts all acting uh, on the same time as um, the troops, just for, for ease. Can we re-roll our initiative already? Yes. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, it's about to doing, y'all. Oh, this Five is this much round. better. I think that's it. Are we all good? Hmm. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Great. The scouts, uh, the the Argosy uh, troops, um, they've gotten their weapons ready almost immediately, and they begin another volley of arrows down toward the uh, the gif outside. Uh, one, two three and those are all hits so that finishes off this entire group here uh finishes off this group here and that's enough to likewise kill these remaining ones here uh, huh. well i'll change my action then <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, bump your initiative by one to uh, account for the change of action. Um, there's cheers of victory going up I'm from inside in the, the round caravan. Anyway. Okay, right, yeah. <laughs> As they take down immobile gith after immobile gith, unable to defend themselves, the gith are either caught in the enrapture of love or the enrapture of tangling weeds, same thing really, and die horribly. Uh, Holt et Fen um, shouts for the, uh, the troops to prepare to take out the last bunch of gith we can already see are beginning to make their way out of the pyrotechnics cloud of smoke senex making it out of the smoke straight into my aura um, um oh sorry um i have to roll for araza by the way he was on a six as well um i forgot that my apologies uh, he charges up and strikes at the gift defiler who's got an armor class of about two at the moment <laughs> oh Nice. <laughs> At least, assuming that was correct. <laughs> no, it what were a, they? It was a twenty, I, natural twenty, but it's not. No, I have, it's an eleven and an eighteen. Um, okay. But uh, the gift of final's actual armor class is twelve, so those are both hits. Nice. And he yeah. doesn't hear it or see it. <laughs> no, and it's a, char it's, a, it's a charge with a lance, so it's double damage. The first one. Uh, so that is. Gift and he kebab. makes a gift kebab. Two, yeah, three, exactly. four, <laughs> and then uh, uh, outstanding. Outstanding. Um, the the gift of file is impaled by a Razo's attack. Um, uh, alive, but grievously wounded. Uh, the outrider spins around and draws his sword uh, to prepare to finish him off. Um, Senex, go. Um, I think we're pretty much done, aren't we? You um, have a small group of gith who are probably going to be rethinking things once they come out of the smoke and see what's happened. Well, okay, I <clears throat> I can see roughly movement over there into the, the edge of yeah. the smoke. I yeah. will move to here. Ah, okay, right. <laughs> Still on the edge. Okay, from inside the smoke, you can hear. <gasps> What's that? What's that special feeling in my? I've oh, never, never felt this way before. <laughs> 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 
<coughs> I start singing, you've got that love in feeling. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I don't do anything. I don't need to do anything at this point. Okay. Somewhere some glass breaks. Uh, the gift of finder backs away, um, grabbing for a potion fruit. Um, it will allow Arazo an attack against him. Uh, this might be enough to finish it. Arazo, go. That's a hit. If he rolls maximum damage, it'll kill him. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, the Gift of Fire takes a bite out of a, in fact, downs the entire potion fruit um, and rapidly fades from sight. Arazo swears and snarls, unable to see where his target now is. You sand! Sorry. Siora. All right. Um, oh, I, I should have a. I'm 18, so I should go later. Sorry. Oh, weird. Senex, we've just had Suxis now. Um, Not used to seeing you so early. No, exactly. Um, uh, Suxis um, wants to change her action uh, once she sees that he that the 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 defiler disappears. Yep. And she changes it into casting an entangle spell in that area. Okay, so that puts you onto 14. And what's the casting time of entangle? Four. Uh, four. Four. So that moves you up to 18. One point for Good changing on. action and then the casting time of four. Yeah. Okay. Um, which means uh, Darjay and Scathis, actually, in whichever order you like. Okay. I don't mind. Big little lizard lizard will do um, cafe. Well, little lizard um, will take up arms at one of the arrow slots. Uh, he's not going back out there by himself <laughs> with one hit point still. <laughs> um, so let me just roll those. Um, it's two shots and I'd like to poison the arrows with more worm slime. Yeah, cool. Who are you shooting? Um, I'll shoot at the southeast pack of Gith, the ones that aren't currently being charmed. Okay. Unless, you can't, can I nobody, can I not see them through the? You can't thing? see the smoke. There's only two feet visibility. No, I haven't finished moving them. As I said, they've, they've been coming oh, out sorry. of smoke this round. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Then yes, I I, I shoot at um, them down there. Emerging okay. from the fog. Go ahead. Is that they kind of come stumbling out, <coughs> looking around, yeah. and seeing all the just gith bodies everywhere, <laughs> and some of your guards as well. But dozens and dozens of their of their tribe mates, and then shoo, shoo, arrows start flying down toward them. Okay, go. Uh, all right. So that's they're both hits because you have high ground. Um, yeah. So uh, even if they make their saving throws. It's still 20 damage. It's still 20 damage. Oh, yeah, they come stumbling yeah. out of the smoke, and the first two are <laughs> slain outright by a pair of poisoned arrow shafts that shoo, shoo, arc down from the Argosy and strike into them. Solid. Scathis. Uh, yes. Scathis will run this way, uh, darting half into the smoke for a moment before lunging back right into the thick of them with Scathis with still trailing behind him that's not smoke that's an aura oh, that? of aura of love you know, aura of love Do you've I never love? looked at never looked at Senex this way before but um. <laughs> there's something about the way that the red sunlight catches his yes. hair and shines in his eyes that skin so so soft so pliable Edible. Edible. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's love. I could just eat you up. <laughs> it's not a love for food. He comes running into my aura and he can hear me speaking. I give friends. This is my other friend. <laughs> Scathius. He's going to murder you now. Oh. Uh, Scathius says, stay away from Semex and then uh, fight <laughs> He's extra my boyfriend. We'll try and impress him. Uh, Anything <laughs> for you, Senex! <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I love this. Yeah, direct hit. Uh, 
Choppity, uh, choppity, yeah. choppity. A swing one and then swing two. Whoa! Yeah, that's definitely going to take down the first guy. Those two swore. Uh oh. One and then. Uh, so I meant to roll damage, swipe. sorry. Yep, no, he, that'll be enough. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah there you go. Um, um, down the first, uh, the first of the gith goes. Yep, and then goes for a tail razor on the one. Let's see, to a southeast. Tail razor whips around, catches him solidly. Another eight damage. Very cool. So, we'll use uh, be careful, he likes then, to bite. And then he'll whirl around and hit that same one with a backhanded uh, shield strike. Shield connects with a solid crunch. Seven damage. Solid enough to split the Gith's skull. And then lastly, he's going to bite the person uh, directly ahead of him. And a hit. And that's this one here? For six damage, yeah, directly yeah. north of him. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Uh... Solid crunching bite, bone and flesh rip and tear. Uh, he still lives, but looking around, you can see the f will to fight leaves him, and flight is almost certainly upon him. Um, okay, I I'm assuming you're casting thicket because your initiative just jumped. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm changing my uh, spell oh, to a okay. healing spell. Okay, cool. So, Suxis. The entangle spell goes off. Okay, sure. Uh, Put where on the map it would be? Well, um, I will aim it where, she, where, where, the, where, the, where, where he um, uh, was taking the potion fruit. Yep. So, uh, and, and uh, the whole area around it to, to, to be able to catch him. We can only go north. So, draw it, please. Uh, can I just draw it like this? I, I don't I draw it, sorry. I don't know how to draw it. Uh, you see the little pen icon? Ah, there we go. Yeah. It's while you do, exactly while you... at the limit of the range of the spell, too, which is kind of perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and Siora. All right. I can see the people that love Senex. Yeah. Um, and I'm getting a little bit jealous, because why aren't they fawning over me? You should come uh, into my aura. <laughs> uh, I'm good. So for, for this day, must, they must die. Yes. Weren't you? Yes. You, you were on the Argosy first, so originally I was. Yes. Um, <laughs> do you, uh, do point. both of them? Do both of them hit? Those both hit. Yes. Uh, two and four. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just randomly had all these thoughts about how Senex is really cool and awesome, and and then he left, and then I was like, what am I thinking? Ugh. So this one here is uninjured. This one right. here has been injured, injured by Scathis. Uh, the one injured by Scathis, I'll, I'll shoot that one with the first oh. arrow, and if it's not dead, then I will... Um... Put the second arrow in it. Yeah. Yeah? That's enough to bring it down. Your bite and two arrows fly in over your shoulder, Scathis, and bring down the uh, penultimate gift there. And then finally, Thicket, whatever spell it is that you were doing, goes off. I uh, wander over to Darje and I hit him with uh, Cure Serious Wounds. Okay, cool. Roll me a macro. How hard do you hit him? Really? I just slap the living... <laughs> you take that one HP away from me. <laughs> but then it comes back really, really suddenly. Yeah. Um... Nine. Nine. Okay. 
Yay! I have 10 hit points. All right. Double figures. Never felt Woo-hoo. so good. <laughs> the uh, smoky, muddy energies of um, Castromandus flood into you. Good job. Okay, you hear well, so a weird this is... bubbling noise in your ear as this happens. Yeah. So there's not really any need to roll for initiative on this last round. Really, that <laughs> last gith is dead. These other two gith are going to run away um, unless anyone um, uh, kills them. I um, think that there's going to be a rain of arrows in their direction from all the well, various almost, guards. <laughs> yeah, so we can assume that that ends in a rather predictable way with um, the screaming and the falling over. Uh, Scathis... Um, you can let me know, really, I suppose, in what manner you uh, bring an end to this solitary gift who's left facing you. Um, he's he's going to die happy and full of love. Um, oh, much. that's disturbing. That's really good. And you're going <laughs> to you're going to give him that piece full of love. Uh, he will look at him, looking admiringly at Senex, and say, and just look at him and shake his head before sweeping his uh, sword across his waist and cutting him in two. Brilliant. And uh, down he goes. His body, the last to fall on a field of battle that is quite simply strewn with the dead. Uh, Zuxis um, gets out of uh, uh, the caravan uh, uh, structure and uh, grabs hold of one of the milling. uh, Kanks and uh, mounts it to right towards uh, uh, the area where the entanglement spell is and where uh, cool. our, our last remaining outrider is still standing. Yep, um, Arazo is uh, glaring down at the entangles. He sees what you see as you arrive. No sign of movement. Um, uh, it starts casting. Okay, go ahead. A, a footsteps of the quarry spell. She takes out a piece of straw and a bone needle and kind of puts the straw through the eye of the bone needle and sticks it into the ground. A line of footprints start appearing. Okay. Uh, yep. Um, Still blind and deaf, so... Yeah. So uh, it's, it's either stumble, in, stumble, stumble. He's either there in the, in, in, the, in the entanglement spell or not, but we'll see soon enough. Nope, he's over here. Look at this match. Yeah, and uh, Arazo is like, yes! The can goes crumbling over the side of here, and the poor... Stab, 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 stab. Yeah, the poor dude with like one hit point left. Suxus follows him as well. Slaughtered, stabbed over and over again. Arazo picks him up, the body, lays it over the front of the kank. You want to go for the leader as well? He was wounded. uh, Arazo looks at you. He fled with a dozen gif. I'm not chasing them. Good. (sighs) I I, I survey the scene. (laughs) Oh, I let the pyrotechnics drop. Yeah, okay. (laughs) Scathis actually will take his sword and uh, gesture out uh, toward the riderless, frightened kanks. Secure those kanks! Who among you can ride? So some of the guards inside, as I mentioned, are uh, uh, are outriders. Um, the patrol that was that was on rest for the day, and they're out immediately and begin to corral them and put them into a, uh, a train behind. Uh, at this point, Araza rides up on his kank and then pulls a body and throws it at your feet. The Defiler, uh, Captain. Scathis grins at him and uh, throws his head back and bellows a cry of, of triumph. <laughs> Chewy? <laughs> Chewy. <laughs> Arazo dismounts. Strides forward, extends a hand. Uh, Scathis puts his sword away, reaches forward, 
and takes him by the forearm. Rips it off, Darcy. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> you may have the ears of an elf, the fur of a man, and the soft skin of both, but I believe somewhere in there beats the heart of a Surin. You have proven yourself to be a worthy leader. Worthy of the confidence Captain Fenn placed in you. And worthy of mine. Where you go, Scathis, I will follow. From now on, I call you brother. Brother. Brothers in blood. The blood spilt on this battlefield. Hmm. A goodly amount of it, my own. I'm gonna go and find that halfling. Oh, I should wipe my mouth clean. <laughs> His jaws just caked with blood from uh, <laughs> biting different gif. Chunks of gif flesh stuck between your teeth. It's gonna be more difficult to get that out, actually, but, but there you go. That is how floss was invented. <laughs> Zuxis looks at uh, at Scarthus. Gives an approving nod there. Scarf the, nods back. Over from the top fact. of the Argosy, halted Fenn's voice rises. All right. Let's hear it for our defenders, eh? Caravan leader Suxis. Captain Scathis Githbane. Darjay. The one who cannot be killed. Thicket. Master of the Wastes. Siora. Sexy bitch. The, the, <laughs> the deadly strike. And Senex. Ah, oh, Senex. <laughs> so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> so dreamy. <laughs> and I worriedly then drop the aura. <laughs> just hit Siora. Surprisingly, he keeps it up. You just hit Siora being like, what the hell? <laughs> and his words are met with a rousing cheer from the surviving defenders of the caravan, um, which number maybe only 15 or more. A good two thirds of the guards and scouts have been slain in this battle, but the gith have been routed. And one would expect the remainder of your journey to Al Taruk to be an uneventful one. Okay, gather uh, what's uh, on the corpses, gather our uh, our friends, make sure yep. that uh, they are burnt, um, and then uh, we have a brief, uh, a brief drink of broy to celebrate our, uh, our hard-won uh, victory here, and we go on our way. First, we must bury the dead. We must burn them. dead. Burn them. Burn them. Fair enough. They might uh, raise us undead. Before we do this, I wish to perform the last rites. You'll be in charge of this uh, process then? Tick tick. Uh, ticket. Tick tick. Tick tick. tick. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, yes, yes, I, I will. Also, I will um, see to uh, your wounds if I can. Uh, I will help you with that. That just uh, has wounds. I'm Not just many. I have a I'm just going to yell out. Elbow. <laughs> I'm just going to yell out the window. Anything on the bodies? <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I think it is on it. Yeah, so um, I'll give um, Dar J another. How how much injury? How 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 badly injured is? Well, Dar-J? His, time... his maximum AC is uh, AC HP is thirty two, and he's on ten. In the oh, time goodness. that it ta- in the time that it takes you to get to Altaruk between you and uh, Suxus, you're going to be able to have healed everybody fully. Oh, okay, okay. We're so just, we, we don't we don't, need don't to have to go into intricacies. Okay, no, just... no, no, it's not necessary. All right. Um, as for the uh, as for the dead, I counted thirty gith slain. Um, uh, sorry, forty gith slain. Um, Ten got away. There were fifty in total, by the way, in that initial attack. Sheesh, that's insane. I know, right? Um, so forty gith slain. So you, the armor uh, can't be salvaged because it's been peppered with arrows and torn to bits by mandible swords and claws and. Um, a catapult shot, um, but you can retrieve, um, uh, shall we say, 50 obsidian spears. You can sell that. Yes. And we ten should. Short, 10 short bows and easily a 100 bone arrows. Good. Nice. I spent 27 PSP in what, four rounds? Yeah. Yeah. Can we, yes, uh, harsh and uncompromising now, rules, bastard, indeed. Yeah. Any any money on them? So no, uh, there's no money and very little food and water on them, which suggests that there is probably a gith camp not too far from here. Um, well, which they, means they be, do we do we go and rat out the rest of them? I believe it probably is prudent no. to avoid any more conflict. Besides, they'll be mourning their dead tonight. They will almost certainly, if there's a camp nearby, there will be more of them at the camp than were in the in the initial attack. Yeah. And their leader escaped. We should flee before he returns. We need to move, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many maximum arrows can I have in a sheath? Is it 30? 24. Uh, 12, and you can carry two quivers. Can okay, we, so you, you, I can, can have carry, 24. You can carry 24. I'm going to take two of those bone arrows then. Can we also recover as many arrows as we can from the battlefield? Because yep, if we get into u- another attack, we will probably need them. Yep, by the usual method, yes. Okay. Uh, but also uh, our guards, because they've been shooting arrows a lot, eh? Yes, likewise. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I, I roll uh, I suppose a die, right? Yeah, it's 50-50, basically. Okay, let's roll one um, die for everything. Uh, it occurs to me that we destroyed that wood, that that stone arch right in the path of our Argosy. <laughs> so it'll take a little while for you to put to to, to clear some of the smaller rubble out of the way. But the mechalots themselves mm-hmm. um, are actually big enough to push it aside, or they can just divert around it. Mm-hmm. It's not like the toll gate in Blazing Saddles, where you're like, "How do you get past this thing?" <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> budgets. We don't need no stinking budgets. <laughs> Um, oh, we recover them. All right. Just onward, <laughs> on, onward then to the end of your journey. Can, can, the destin, the destination. Yes, Carl. Sorry. Can can Suxi start making some uh, poisons to have some extra poisons on the uh, on the way for an Altruk? Um, we've yeah we did the maths on this with Matthias and if you time it right you can arrive having uh, and you have to time it exactly right but where is it um, poison crafting multiple doses you can arrive with four doses okay I will do so because uh, I have a feeling that we might need it in Altruk. We've got time to rest on that before then, haven't we? Uh, yeah, you've got like two and a half, three days. And do I pick a, a single poison or how does that work? It's up to you. Okay, I'll pick a single poison. Okay. Onward then, as I say, to the destination that was originally intended for this caravan, where the Lady Corodius's Amketch was to offload its trade goods at Alterook, 
but also where the smugglers were to have their beetles collected, presumably by agents of House Shom. We shall see exactly what transpires at the Trade Fortress after the break. <laughs> you leave the blood and the battlefield behind and engage on the last couple of days of your journey to Al Taruk. The caravan passes along the People's Road, coming extremely close to the Great Silt Estuary, the inlet of the Sea of Silt that curves its way right up into the heart of the Tablelands. Your glimpse get- of, of the Dust Sea brings to mind your first major battle together at the Red Tower. But the winds here are low, the Grey Death does not rise from the Dust Ocean, and instead it's an almost beautiful sight. The silt waves moving gently back and forth under the crimson sun and the pale moons. Islands dot the estuary. You're sure one night when camp is made and Quen is cooking up one of his great curries for the entire crew, that uh, you see giants wading through the silt. 30, 40 feet tall they must be. Their long, dreadlocked hair swaying in the moonlight. Eventually, on the third day, the caravan begins to wind its way up into the low passes of the Tarok Mountains, here at the head of the Silt Estuary. I'll um, I'll pull the map back up just for uh, for ease of reference. So along this route you come up into the mountains, the rocky badlands, and finally to Al Taruk itself, mm. at the head of the estuary. The trade hub of the Western Tablelands, they call it. You pass by uh, several ruins that look as if they may once have been fortresses or towns or villages. And Haltit, who has made this route several times, tells you that these are all old sites of Altaruk. The giants come out of the silt every few moons and raid it. So they move it and build it up again. It's too good a trade site to give up. That explains the walls. They're immense. When you finally round the edge of a canyon in the mountains and see a, the canyon widens out, immense stone walls, 30, 40 feet high, blocking the canyon off with a great set of gates, steps leading up to the gates in front of them. Scathis, you hear Surin voices. There are other travelers, a couple of other Argosies actually pulling away from the gates. They go past you in the other direction. A uh, small gathering of what look like Inixes, possibly a trade envoy from House Inix, from House uh, Inica. And they're gathered by small tents at the side of the road, a collection of Surins. Braziers burning with hot rocks, almost like glowing magma. Their voices raised in Surin song. (laughs) And as their heads are lifted, you see their throats are all stained black with ash. One or two add here. Blackened throat. Indeed. Cultists of the Song of the Blackened Throat, just preaching by the wayside. Almost certainly a coincidence. What are they? I say. Cultists. Preaching. Do they 
breach to the elements? We pray and beckon others to join them. Hmm. Do they worship the magma? Yes, they do. I can tell. Ah, they must not find out that I am an apostate. Or that you're here. Yes, they will consider me a blasphemer. S stay out of sight. Scathis will comply. He'll duck inside the Argosy. Okay. I want to listen to their to their song and see if I recognize any similarities to my uh, my own beliefs. They're absolutely speaking of the power of the Lords of Magma, but as Scathis has indicated, they're doing something else. It's an invitation to pledge yourself to the Lords of Lava. to accept immolation as a means to ascension. That within the magma, your mortal body will be burned away and your spirit will rise into the true existence of the planes. I turn to Scathis as he's sitting there uh, out of sight. You're right. You're completely nuts. Indeed, I saw my own egg brother immolate himself for their teachings. And you may not know this about me, but I also follow, well, at least Castromandas, the spirit of the land that I follow, has taught me the ways of magma as well. And he does not ask me to immolate myself, to find enlightenment. There is no truth in that. It's just a quick journey to the Grey. Yes, but they believe death and immortality are the same. I suppose in they some ways fools. it is. Either way, for the Song of the Blackened Throat to have come this far south, means that even these roads of the Tablelands are no longer the refuge you thought they may have been, Scathis. It seems there is no escape from their song. The Argosi rumbles past them and finally comes to a halt outside the Great Walls that block off the canyon, preventing access to the trade fortress of Altaruk within. The sun is going low toward the western horizon. Long shadows fill the canyon when their way lit by torches, a trio of individuals, a woman and a couple of guards come out of the gate and they make their way down toward where you are. Woman calls up. Who is uh who is captain of the caravan? A word, please. If you would if you would show yourself. Uh Suxis uh, looks over the the edge of the the gangway. Your guards, I presume, are within the caravan now. You barely have enough to mount out rider patrols, perhaps yeah. one or two scouts at most. They yeah. come come back. Ah, um, mistress? Sarah? Yes. Hmm. What can um, I do for you? <laughs> uh, uh, my name is, um, Factol, um, Vadai. I am a, uh, Factol for Altaruk. This is, uh, the Amketch? Yes. Right. Well, you're on. You're on time. Um, I was expecting. Uh, she consults a small scroll. 
a Lalarash? Yes, we got uh, ambushed by Gith. He didn't make it. My condolences. Such is um, life. Yes, if you would, if you would prepare your cargo for offloading, mm -hmm. we'll be ready to see to you in the morning. Um, we have had an unexpected arrival, a trade delegation from House Varshad um, are taking up most of our time. Um, but does that, they, house, they, does, does the house ring a bell? House Varshad. Mm. Doesn't ring any bells Does whatsoever. Ring Not any of bells course, to it me. rings no bells. I mean, a local, hi a local history check, please. Uh, yes. Ooh, I, <laughs> I can do that as well. I imagine Sierra was like listening, and at the moment mention of that name, she just like sits probably next to Scathis. Like I fell uh. with a natural twenty. Dodge comes and sits in your lap for comfort. Uh. Suxus. Yeah, a noble house of Uruk that's been getting rich in recent years with um, the sulfur trade and ways to uh, to refine sulfur. A tiny house, I suppose, because it's not part of the the usual uh, big No, they're house. One, of the, one of the smaller houses. Yeah. Okay. A, no a noble house making inroads into the trading world, really. Right. Yeah. Okay. Understood. We will make it ready um, um, as soon as you're ready to start uh, uh, having a look at it tomorrow morning. Kindly uh, let us know, and then we'll start. We will, loading. of course. And um, thank you. And, and uh, the uh, in case you weren't aware, perhaps um, Captain Lanar shouldn't tell you. Uh, the gate told us one gold piece. Does that sound right? You've never been to Alteric before. No. Can I make an assessment of that? Uh, for this one, I'm going to want your uh, your general knowledge roll, not the not the local knowledge. So that's a 50-50. Okay. Um, so just roll me a d20. One to uh, okay, I'll do that. 20. One to 10 is yes. Um... Yeah, one to 10 is that you get a correct answer. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, it, it does sound right, actually. Um, you have heard that Altruk is one of the most expensive places to gain access to. Um, they put the money mainly into rebuilding their walls. Makes sense, yeah. <laughs> yeah and people pay because it's the best trade location in the area. Yeah. Uh, I thank you. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I says, we will see you in the morning. And we will, we will, uh, I suppose we will pay up in the morning, right? Uh, yes, once the, once you are ready to have your, your goods carried in. Perfect. Okay. She nods to the, uh, her two guards and they head back into the, uh, through the gates. Okay. Do you think we're? Do you think they're going to plan an ambush on us from House Shom? Uh, Shom probably will try to do something. Are you tonight, guys going to so. have a? You, go, you guys going to have a little conflab in the what? In the in the mess, as it were. Well, we could also go and ask Lalarash. Can I just get a clarification of? He was on the necklace to that guy. What was it exactly that I heard him say? Did he say it was us, or was he just saying he was in danger? Because if we can blame this on the Gith, that would be great. But I can't remember if he said about us at all. He said he'd been discovered. Right, he, wa okay. he wanted out. Okay. And, um... What have we done with the beetles? Have we replaced them fully, or have we replaced some? No, you replaced like three of them or something? Six. Yeah. Six. Six. Six, okay. Um, so we have six real ones. Yeah. When we're in the Argosy, we're, like when we're in the Argosy and we're like, I guess, parked up wherever we need yeah. to be. Um. I um I if if all right with everyone, I would like to have a quick discussion about something in private. Sure. With with us or with what Yes, yeah. yeah. Sure. Um <clears throat> uh, before we go, I'll just quickly uh, instruct the guards to be expecting uh, trouble if we're not careful. 
<laughs> we explained explained to them that we're going to be standing here for staying here for the night and that they're helping us tomorrow morning but that we have an inkling that there might be trouble uh, tonight so that this should be very much on uh what kind guard. of trouble hold it fences the ones that uh, lala rush was uh, in league with they might uh, try to make a move now that sure. Lala not here i guess right so. i'll post to watch on the top deck and i will set a perimeter outside the wagon good uh, and so uh, is we can do weaven watches exactly that's what i was uh, gonna suggest good plan good plan uh, make sure that we don't get surprised and that we're ready for them maybe some traps also also uh, uh, let's be also be ready that if they want to try and set fire to us or something like that right it okay um Set fire? Mm -hmm. What, we have buckets of sand or something? Yeah, like that. Okay, so just to be clear, you're going to have a, a, a private discussion where? In the passengers, in your, in your, in the lower passengers cabin? Where yeah. Where no one can kind of... Somewhere where, where, where Lalarash can't overhear us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so that's on the one downstairs and opposite his room. Yeah. Yeah. Um... She would just uh, kind of say to the group, right, well, um, it appears that my, or uh, Siora's uh, family is potentially here. I'm going to do my best not to be spotted. And if possible, if you're able to aid me with that, it'd be much appreciated. Perhaps you can wear a veil or a cover up, a yes. Cloak. That is my plan, yes. I just wanted to um let you know in case we are for some reason invited somewhere. I doubt it, but just in case. Well, um I suggest we retrieve uh, the beetles from their spot and bring them up here with us. Agreed. And I think we should um yeah. I mean, we should really keep some alive if we can. I don't we, know if we have stuff to feed them. I, I'm, I'm keeping them alive. I, we have six of them. Perfect. And they're, they're within my own personal insect stash. I have a portable insect stash with me. Wonderful. And Mark, what's a very common female name in this area, roughly? Neva, Sidera. Right. Um, <laughs> while Pinky. we're here, while we're here, uh, refer to me as Neva. All right. Daje will make sure you will not be seen. Should I wear a disguise as well? Acceptable. Might be a good idea. You Especially if they're after you. You might be able to throw them as well by painting your neck black if they see you. So they think you're one of them. Scathis makes kind of a disgusted face at the suggestion, but nods I'm, reluctantly. I'm just saying this is a possibility. You, 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 you do what you think is best. Just throwing a suggestion out there. <clears throat> as soon as they target you and they pass this on, we will be expecting our next... Uh, Elemental attacker. It you may realize. be as easy as wearing a scarf and staying out of their way. I would say I so. So, if I must paint my throat black, then I shall. For now, you can you know also it? wear a cloak. Mm -hmm. And you know enough about uh, their doctrines to fake it if you come into a conversation? I know enough. If they ask my name, it is Vashkes. Right. So, Vashkes and, and Niva, 
right? Good. So, um, make sure that they don't slack off our guards. Uh, and uh, let's try and put as much alarm and, um, um, you know, traps as we can so that we uh, can deal with whatever they're going to throw at us. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're going to try something. Oh, oh, I, I can also do a glyph. So can I. Good one. While you all do this, I um, think this is the longest Lala Rush has been left alone. I'm going to go make sure he's still secure. Maybe you can actually <clears throat> see what he knows about this uh, confrontation here. Because he's not going to survive this confrontation either if uh, we don't. Understood. Make, make sure that he knows. Uh, Should I come with you? Yes, if you'd like. Uh, look at tickets. We should do our preparations, I suppose, right? Yes, yes. That's what we're um, going to proceed. I, uh, There's only... Sorry, sorry real quick. Uh, is there a, the, the the main access door to the Argosy? Is there is there one, or is there one on either there's, side? There's two. Um, that's... The, the 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 stairs start at ground level here. Okay. And the and on the, the actual access points are on the middle level here. So this set of stairs leads up to here. This set of stairs lead, leads up to there. Those are the only access points. But the cargo bay, I mean, has. Oh, sorry. Yeah, obviously, yes. Um, the cargo bay is on the ground level here. Yeah, there's two yes. big doors at the back there. Yes. And those are. Locked from the inside, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. Okay. I <laughs> would like to manifest insect mind. Mm hmm. Which I do easily and also manipulate it. Power manipulation. Or spice on. And so that lasts for 24 hours. I've got insect mind up for 24 hours. Okay. I'm going to pick up uh, the beetles that we have uh, in the secret compartments and bring them up with us. Okay. That they don't uh, collect those while we're actually trying to keep a watch out for them coming in and then just go into the cargo <laughs> hole and get it. just gone. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, if you want an external view of the Argosy, where it is outside the walls, I can give you that as well. Or if you want to put your various um, defenses that you were talking about, Wyvern Watchers might have you inside, that's fine too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, outside as well, I would like to have a look at the layout, if that's okay. possible. I imagine while we're keeping an eye on Lalaresh, uh, Skathis and Siora could probably do the the painting on themselves that they need to do. Mm. I would need to cover up my tattoos and try and find a veil and... Yeah put a black stuff on a Scathis's throat on whatever he needs. So this shows the Argosy and this is the guard perimeter. These are pretty much all your guards, by, by the way. Um, a perimeter on the ground. These guys are staying clear of the Mechalot's mouths because they don't want to get eaten. And then more on the battle platform at the top. Yeah. <clears throat> we want to keep the, the amount of guards on the outside uh, protected and to a minimum because they're going to be sniped off. Lee, just swap overlays, would you? Ah. Having some in, or having most inside would be good, because then they can look through the arrow slits and, yeah, well, like you said, they yeah. won't get sniped. Well, that's what the, what what we have to have some guards outside, but not too many. Um, I have another thing that we might want to have a look at, and maybe Scatis and um, Arezzo and uh, um, our half giant uh, captain could uh, actually advise me on this. Where do you think, if we get attacked here, where would it be from, most likely?
Who are you asking, Carl? Uh, um, I'm asking um, Ascathis, Arezzo, and um, uh, what's the name of our half giant captain again? Holtet. 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 Yeah. Holtet says the attack will come from outside the Argosy. Yes, but where outside the Argosy? Can I try and figure that out? Over there, he says, pointing at the door. <laughs> Can I figure out which side of the Argosy it's most likely to come from? Tactically? Um, well, I mean, unless unless the House Shom troops are uh, are already inside Alteruk, uh, it'll come from uh, back down the canyon, um, which is uh, to the east on this map. Uh, and otherwise, it would come from Alteruk itself. I'm presuming. Correct. Yes. Uh, Okay, yep, I'd um, relay that. Yeah, I suggest uh, we prepare the ballista so that we don't have to wait very long to 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 to, so that it's to load it. Loaded up. Yeah. Um, anything else you guys can think of? Should we make it uh, like uh, it shoots fire, or is that all necessary? That, that, no, that'll, that'll add a bit of damage. We want to be cautious not to damage this city itself. Well, they're used to it. And if they if we get if we get attacked from the city, then you know, but how long would it take to turn the uh, the catapult? Um, let me just double check if there's a stat on that. Uh, you can change it every round. Okay. Good. Perhaps we have it facing away from the city in case. That's that's a good plan. Whatever, what, whatever it comes, and if it if if it, the attack comes from the city, we take we take the moment to turn it around. Yeah. Okay. I agree. I agree. I'm agree. going to put two glyphs of warding, one on each back door of the cargo bay, and I'm going to place two wyvern watches on the uh, entrances. I don't yeah. think you understand. If we fire the catapult towards the city, if that's where we're being attacked from, we're going to have more enemies than just how Sham. We're going to get attacked by their guard and the civilians. Like you said, they're used to it, so they're going to have people to defend. Yes, and those walls are, have the distinct advantage over us. So. And they'll be battle-hardened from fighting giants. Yes. So, away from the city. Yes. Catapult, it's only for away from the city. Anything in the city, we're just going to have to handle it ourselves. We can't do anything like catapult. Okay. Any other uh, observations and things that might help us here? I am um, not. A, I'm not a general, so. I was going to ask. Um, I can obviously um, check and, and find and remove traps. I can't put them down myself, can I? Yes, you can. Can I actually? With, with the same percentage, yes. Oh. It's in the Complete Thief's Handbook. Oh my goodness. Well. Uh, er, my gird. Maybe Guy I'll... comes back and like, can I have that one gold? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I guess... Where would be most useful for us to have traps set? I assume somewhere on the ship. Doors, mm. maybe. Mm. I've already put... Uh, I'm putting wyvern watches on the doors. These will paralyze anyone who comes into the door that is not. Or the doors. Well, uh, the, uh, the 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 stairs leading up to the middle floor. But it only paralyzes the first one, right? Not the next one. Is that so? There's, the, there's a there's a wyvern watch here, and what? here. Correct. Uh, you're on the wrong. Oh. Oh, yes, you mean and that? on the, and on the back door, there's two major cargo doors. Yeah. And they'll each have a glyph of warding on them. And the glyph of warding is going to um, it's going to deal uh, also par paralyze. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, so it, I'm it, thinking it, it, I put a a, right. a trap on uh, Lalaresh's door then, just in case. And the criteria for the glyph of warding is anyone who attempts to open the door. Oh, right. And. The... We, need to, we need to inform our, our people that... Uh, that's yes, success, yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. This is all assumed in this uh, yeah. crazy plan of ours. So, um, you were going to put it on Lalash's door. Uh, I was just going to say... Um, oh, I, I wanted to do another one. Yeah, just to uh, just to ask you a question there. Um, yeah. Siora 
talked about going to talk to Lalarash. So I presume that's happening after af she's done. Af after the meeting, and yeah. then after after her visit, you then trap his door. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Sounds good. But the other door that I want to do is the door to the cargo bay where the Beatles were. Yeah. Okay. Did we actually take the Beatles out of there? Because that, that, that well, was mentioned earlier. Uh, that will be after, obviously. You yeah. know, yeah. when when we're done with these areas, I will trap the. Two so what doors. you're saying is you're, we've removed the Beatles from that trap door, from that area, but you're still trapping that area. Yeah, yes. because they'll go there. Yeah, you know, that's where they think oh. it is. I yes. really hope, for multiple reasons, we don't get attacked tonight. Because the idea of in the morning, everyone waking <laughs> up in their caravans, and there's just us like untrapping everything. They're gonna be like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Paranoid travelers ever. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to draw the one on the other side Only... as well for later. Okay. This is going to play out like Home Alone. I can just see it now. Only because I'm paranoid doesn't mean they're not after me. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did I do so a quick you... hive mind before? Uh, how long does Hive Mind last? Um, only I, I just want to re uh, top up my PSPs after casting thingy. Oh, okay. Yes, go ahead. Hive Mind, where are you? That one. Easy. Uh, any insects that are around, really? I know I can't focus on the uh, the small ones, but I know we've got Inixes um, here and. Yep, uh, uh, Kanks medium, Kanks you have six, twelve, eighteen Kanks. Um, and there's all, all the beetles? Uh, Thirty tiny beetles. So it only works three. on beetles if if I can, but like not. You so you'll get, to, uh, with this, you'll, you will get 21 PSPs back. Thank you. And it costs two to cut. So 19 back, yeah? Yeah, and that that also goes on as temporary, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can exceed your. Uh... Yes. Got eighty one. And I, I believe that resets um, at the end of the day or something. I think so. Yeah. Mark. What? The the PSPs that you get additional, the temporary ones, they reset at the end of the day, right? After your rest. I can say if I just speech Or that? until they're used. What? How does it work? Doesn't say. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you just increase them. It says the sign that keeps them. Keeps them. Yeah. So you've expended them. Lovely. Yeah. Manipulate. Okay, so Sura, after the um, you've had your lengthy discussion, um, the guards are being positioned. Uh, the slaves are preparing the the the, um, the argosy for the night. Um, you head up to talk to Lalarash, I think you said. Yeah, I think Scathis wanted to come along as well. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna just um, I'm mm. gonna head in there, make sure he's still you know strapped down and everything like that. Um, and if he is. Um, then I'm gonna remove the, like probably like the gag from his mouth. Um. Um. Make me an observation check, please. Uh, while, oh, she, no. while she's doing that, Mark, I manipulated that by the way, so I get that. Observation. Whereabouts will I find that? It's a prof is... Proficiency. Proficiency. Oh, I don't like that. I have to roll this. Is that good? I don't know. Is that good? Is that bad? Help. Okay. So, um, yeah, you. Uh, he looks at kind of nervous as you as you enter the room, and then his nervousness increases when he sees Scathis's hulking form appear in the doorway uh, behind you. I've to I've told you everything I know. We just want to have some clarification on some things. If you would like to survive this encounter, um, then we're going to need to know. What is expected when you are to arrive here? How to handle this situation and how you are going to leave? Uh, 
I'm supposed to leave the caravan and head head into Al Taruk. And there's a tavern I'm to go to, and I'm to wait there. And I will be contacted by a, a Shom representative. Um, I would expect it to be Agristes. And then. Can you tell me what Agristes looks like? Well, he's a. Um, He, 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 he's older than I am. Uh, a tall, uh, re receding hair, a small, very pointed beard. Right. I think he's, he, he, he's Balakan originally. And the tavern name? The Sand Tiger's Tail. All right. And is he just as weak as the one you met before? Um, Agristes is a senior agent of uh, of House Shom, so n no, he isn't. All right. So they don't know to come looking for this Argosy. You were supposed to go to them. They will probably have someone watching for it. But that we have arrived at night and that I don't put in an appearance until the next day is not necessarily going to arouse their suspicions. You right. have some time still to reconsider. Reconsider what? Letting me go. If your information is correct and we make it out of this, we're gonna let you go as a thank you. But if anything goes wrong, anything goes awry, any information you've given us has been proven incorrect. Scathis shows his teeth. You've still got some gift flesh in there. Lalarash flinches and looks away. Trust me, if they think you've been compromised, you're better safe with us than you would be with them. No, I understand. You stare there, down at the floor. Is there anything, anything more that you can think of to aid in your survival? I've told you everything I know. I'm... Do I believe that? Almost certainly not true. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, there's nothing he said to you since the beginning of since you've met him that's been true. Everything's got an angle. Scathis, I don't think he's telling us the truth. I think he's hiding something. Really? That is what I wanted to hear. He begins approaching uh, Lalarash. Lalarash swallows hard. Look, I've got nothing more to tell you. If, 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 if you were going to kill me, you, you'd have killed me already. That's what I think. You're fun to keep around. That's why you're not dead. I'm beginning to get bored. Should we kill him now? He says he has nothing more to tell us. Lalara starts to sweat. Perhaps I can give his head to the House Shaw Agents as a message. 
I say we give him 10 seconds to tell us something useful and then he can live. But if not, then I guess you can have fun with him. Tethrides. You need to be careful of Tethrides. He's the one I contacted through the Olivine. He knows everything. Fine, Agrestes is a senior agent, but Tethrides is a powerful defiler. He will not let this stand. And what does Tethrides look like? I don't know. He wears a bronze mask. You can only see the lower half of his face. He has a cruel smile. Well, then let's hope you weren't important enough to chase after. I suppose so. His shoulders slump. What shall I do, Siora? He told us something somewhat... somewhat useful. Don't kill him. Just do whatever else you want. However, if he comes up with more information, then he can be spared. Do you have a small, precise blade I could use? Oh, I do, actually. And I hand over uh, his steel dagger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scathis takes it. And uh, let's see how messed up do I want to be. Sorry. <laughs> um, I just realized we're streaming this game. The um, nipple are, wasn't enough, was it? <laughs> we, are, we are trying to torture information out of him. Ugh. Of what, course, it's, it's it's free to the DM to zoom away and go for a different scene. That's, huh? that's true. The DM can also stop it from happening by giving us more information. Uh, Make we the were, choice, Mr. Bond. Who, 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 were, who were we torturing? Brendy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Proceed. If you wish. All right. Let's see, what is the tastiest strip of flesh I could cut? I need something, a palate cleanser after all that gith. Silent tears start to roll down his cheeks. His shoulders are still slumped. He doesn't lift his head. After what he's been put through these last few days, it's no surprise that there's little fight left in him. Mm. Just one more slither of useful information, and I'll tell Scathis to put that blade away. Or I will take one small sliver of flesh from your back and eat it in front of you. I have nothing more to tell. I, I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know anything else. If you will not talk, Lala Rash, then scream. And he finds the least scarred piece of flesh on his back that he can. Well, he's been magically healed, hasn't he? Mm-hmm. And slices a strip off. Thin enough that it, it doesn't go to the bone or anything like that. Right. Scream. Lala Rash does. Loud enough to be heard throughout the caravan by the guards outside, by anyone within earshot. The sound echoes back from the canyon walls and dies away into incoherent sobs. Uh, 
and holding it up over himself, he not as good as I hoped. Despite himself, Lalarash cannot help but stare in horror as you consume his flesh before his very eyes. Do you the choice is always yours, Lala Rash, whether to talk or scream. For this, the poor broken man has no answer. Only silent tears and silent sobs. We've got a first time viewer. Hello, welcome aboard. I know, I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what a time to come in. They played heroes in season one. They're not doing it now. We were the good guys. <laughs> um, Nobody's yeah. a hero in this world. Yeah, right. Um, after that, I make sure I double check all of his bonds. I yep. make sure that he hasn't been doing anything like to try and escape in the meantime. Make sure everything's secure, everything's all sorted. Um, and um, yeah, I just uh, I then probably just get ready to to rest for the evening. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you um, observe nothing untoward with, uh, with Lalarash. Um, leave him in his cabin, the door closed on on his pain and his fear and his sorrow. No, I'll stay in I'll stay in his room. In his room. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's that's kind of I feel like that's probably what Sierra's been doing, just to make sure like if he yeah. does anything she'll hear it. Yeah. Are sure. you staying okay. in the room then when Darje traps, traps the, door. the door? Oh, that's very true. Knowing Darje's gonna trap the door, I will leave. Okay. I will actually. That's a very good point. So his 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 screams have cast something of a pall over the uh over the caravan. And uh, Quen's nightly curry is uh, um, consumed in uh, in varying degrees of silence by yourselves and the guards, and uh, a somewhat subdued subdued evening meal. Especially subdued by the fact that you sit with the certainty that How Shram will be making a move against you this evening. Does well, anybody on the wall seem to notice all the screaming coming from our caravan? Almost certainly someone will have heard, yeah. yeah. They're all like, yeah. what's going on down there? Oh, I, I, sorry, I, I presume, by the way, Siora and uh, Senex, um, you're, you're not eating the curry, you're just kind of pretending. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna inform the, my allies, and I will also inform the guard on to what to look out for on, on the descriptions. Yeah, sure. So from everyone else, can I get a saving throw against poison at minus six, please? Oh. What, what, what? What for? The curry. All of you, please roll. Poison the curry. Who did it? Scathis passes. Give me one sec. She is loading. Is this drunken curry's revenge? Is this is this Success passes? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to find my actual saving throws. Oh, there they are. Oh, Dodge, Dodge fails. Oh, by one point. Oh, thank fuck for that. Thicket passes. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me just make a couple of other rolls here. Mm. Fail. And who was eating all this curry? Fail. Also the guards? Yep. Shit. Yeah, what else are they going to eat? Lala Rush? No, Lala Rush. Meat's back yeah. on the menu, boys. Fail. Okay. The first thing you notice is the sound of Halt at Fen Boom. hitting the floor. This is the five at the top there. Arazo is on his feet. I don't feel 
I don't feel. Ooh. Down he goes. And then various of the other guards, those who've gone to sit outside with their bowls and those who are inside as well. Darje likewise gives a small squawk and collapses. Uh-huh. And there we go. Okay. Um the rest of you mm. apart from the apart from uh Siora and Senex, those of you who pass the saving throws, so Scathis, Suxis, and uh Thicket, mm -hmm. you are affected as if by a slow spell. So all your all your moves and actions are halved, uh your armor class goes down, your initiative is penalized. Okay. Okay. Um you are aware, however, of the sound. <clears throat> what kind of trap did you put on the door, by the way? Wyvern uh, watch on both doors and. No, with... excuse me. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, the... uh, it didn't. Uh, I didn't specify one. Um, I suppose. <laughs> the strongest, best one, please. It would. I. I. I assume it would be some. Um pulley system yeah okay well and uh, um as you're passing out uh you hear it discharge ah um and there comes the sound of running feet on the gangplanks as someone runs from across the top and down the stairs hmm. lala rash yeah and it's not the first time he's been out of his cabin either no if you scroll back through the uh, the dice log, you'll see me rolling a bunch of percentiles earlier on. Right oh, before you, right before you failed your observation check to see if his bones had been had been messed oh. with. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I'm going after him. <laughs> oh, we're killing him now, son. I'm destroying this man. Okay, okay, okay. Where's Lala Ashbury? See, let's pull him onto the map. There. No he is. more There's... strips. We do whole pieces. I'm pouring salt on that. Um, <laughs> out of curiosity, does a potion fruit, does that, um, would that help with poison? Like if I was to give that to Darje? It depends on what the potion fruit is. I think I just have, it just, it's just labeled in my, my, my notes as a potion fruit. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can dry, I suppose. Um, I, I would... I would probably pop it in Dodge's mouth and then sprint. <laughs> I, um... Okay. Well, why don't you guys, apart from Dodge at the moment, actually um, give me initiative rolls for whatever it is you want to do? I swear this dice doesn't roll below a six. Man, is there a way to re-roll initiative? Like, can I? <laughs> <laughs> Should we put our tokens? Um, so I would put them on the outside, actually, because Lana Rash has used his movement to, to get outside the caravan. But I'm gonna, I'm, I'm about to roll the wyvern and watch for him. This is initiative. And there's a 17 on a saving throw. Okay. And a two on initiative. Okay, so um, yeah, um, roll initiative if you have an action you want to take. Um, he is out and running. Those guards are all collapsed, by the way, but I'll leave them on the map just for... All right. for, for I rolled a 12, but I'm not seeing myself in the list. Okay. Um, yeah, I, did that as well. I rolled a put, 4. You, you guys need to pull your tokens onto the maps. Uh, but I have a 12, so... I rolled a 10. I'll type that in manually. Yeah, you can put it in manually. 
So uh, why am I not on the equi on the initiative list? You need no, to what you pissed, roll you? while your token's on the map. But I rolled so nice. It's okay, because you, you can manually you, edit it. You can, you can manually uh, edit it. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, how do you do that? Roll again and just, then manually no, edit just, it? Just yeah, you just the click the number on the turn order and then you can just change it. Only one person could do it at a time, though. I roll again and change the number then. Uh, there we go. Cool. From now on, anytime somebody has a rash, I'm going to call it a Lala rash. Oh, from <laughs> now on, Gathis is going to prepare his own meals. <laughs> you, I thought you just did. <laughs> no more communal food with you, everyone else. You cut, you cut pieces of him off. I made it. That was just a snack. Oh, okay. I'll come uh, here for my nightly meal. Let <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> just update your hit point totals because some of those are off. Everyone else seems to be good. Okay. Um. A lot of on a two. Outstanding. Right. Uh, where are we? Uh, ten feet. So, right. Twelve squares. If it, if it affects anything, he's been malnourished. He's been <laughs> tortured. He's been strapped to a chair. But didn't he's he go past the 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 glyph and and the he's other? Already ro already rolled for it. Oh. He, 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 rolled said, he rolled a 17 on his save against the Wyvern Watch. Uh. Yeah. So he goes charging, uh, and uh, that's his um, full movement at normal speed. And because he's running, he can take an extra 50%. So six. He straight get, toward. He gets through the gates? Is the gate open? Straight toward the now open gates. Oh. You can see him going running through <laughs> as fast as he can. <laughs> utter terror in his voice and in every little stride. Uh, thicket. I cast Slow Poison on Darjay. Nice. Okay. So, um, although your token is out, outside there, you're yeah, I, I, in there. Yeah, I'm yeah. in. I'm inside. Okay. Awesome. 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 Darjay, uh, the poison leaves you. Um, you are uh, not affected at all. Neither passed out nor slowed like your companions. Okay, so you you have full actions um, for the for the duration of the spell. Okay, so if you want to uh, pull, pull your little token on the map here. Roll initiative for next Jay. round. <laughs> no, you get you can roll initiative for this round. It just has a minimum. Thicket, you're my hero. <laughs> let me pull this fucking me, ass. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Do it. Run fast. <laughs> <laughs> that Jay is always faster. <laughs> yes. Okay, and Darjay, you're up next. Yes. Okay. Um, I follow the sound of the manic screaming. Okay, so you race through after after him. Yes. Would you move me along while I do my yeah. sheet? Okay. Cool. One second. Sir. It's loading. All right. And uh, I'm attacking with the poisoned short sword. Oh. <laughs> As you come yeah. hurtling through the gate, you see what it is that uh, Lala Rush is running toward. Um, this individual here, tall, receding hair with a pointy beard, shouts, Sham agents, attack! Oh. You've done it again. <laughs> it's not uh, my fault. No, it isn't your fault. Okay, I just, I just come in the end then, fine. Oh, you're gonna okay. You're gonna take. You're gonna hide. Yep. Not not try. happening again. No, thank you. <laughs> not twice in one adventure. I'll just I'll just wait for reinforcements, I guess. Okay, so you go flat against the side of the top of the stairs there, um, and you can hear voices like, "Attack what?" And Lara is <laughs> like, "Attack the little purple." Oh, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> 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 He's really dangerous. Look for him. Oh god. Why are there 400 of them? Senex. <laughs> oh god. That's um, a great question. 
Um, oh, shit. I... I am going to uh, manipulate manifest flesh armor. Mm -hmm. uh, I failed. Shit. I rolled a natural one. Siora. All right. I... I had originally planned to use my Widow's Blades. Okay. Hearing... Can I just point out, by the way, that Senex is currently covered in <laughs> ugly hair that's sprouting all over his body. He looks horrible. It's coming in big tufts out of his nose, out of his ears. Um, yeah, and other places we're not going to talk about. Really, really quite hideous. <laughs> I was looking gonna... at that and I thought you forgot about it. <laughs> no, <laughs> please carry on, uh, Panda. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that that he was poisoned and that somehow is a weird side effect. Yeah, um, that's what it is. Horrifying. Um, I, uh, I, I, I'm just, I, I'm just so focused on my lash, but hearing that the shaman agents are there, I would like to switch to my longbow, which is another, I think it's an additional five speed, so I, I think I actually end up at 14 instead, changing my action. Okay, got it. Okay. Scathis. Right, uh, staggering from uh, the poison, Scathis moves, you said half, yeah, I have so, half my normal yep. movement, so six squares yes. right there. Yeah. Yes. You're muted just now. Staggering up the stairs, taking an obsidian spear from his back, and he goes for a desperate throw at Lalarash. Yeah, go. He's here. I want him dead. Lana Rush's armor class 16. Kale him in the back of the head. A hit. Um, Darje, the uh, spear flies past you and slams into the fleeing Lala Rush. Now, here's the thing we are technically outnumbered, so that's seven damage, right? Yes. You are, you are outnumbered, yes. Uh, Lalarash screams, staggers forward, a spear sticking out of his back. Uh, Siora, you have readied your bow. Yeah, I am. Um, angry doesn't begin to even. Yeah. How many? How much movement do I have? You have six squares. All right, I'm going to go here. Yep. And I'm going to fire at Lalarash with my with my bow. Yeah, everyone's focusing on Lalarash. Oh, there's both missed. I'm. Oh. We don't want Lalarash to start giving intel to the uh, Sham guards about us. And finally, in the round, Zuxis. Um, Zuxis is going to cast uh, um, upon seeing. Um, that he's already fled from uh, her uh, her view. Um, she's going to cast um, a slow poison on herself. Okay, so the effects of the poison are negated for you for the duration of the spell. Yeah. Okay. Right. New round. Um, Darjay and Suxis um, can act. Everyone else can only move at half speed. No one else can take any actions. Not even me and Senex. Uh, you and Senex can. Yeah. Okay. So basically, sorry, it's Scathis and uh, and uh, and Thicket who are slowed. So we can take and no actions at all. None at all. Okay. And um, we do uh, we do a new initiative. I'm presuming. Yes, I'm just adding enemies to the. Uh... Seconds. I also hid in shadows at the end of my last round. Um. Yeah.
Okay. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. All right, so we're rolling initiative for the backgrounds real quick. Okay. Battle rush. Oh, he's not there. He's, he's, he's on a two. Oh, he's on a two again. Nice. We roll again for him. That's from last round. Quite right. He's on an eight this round. Poor bugger. Okay. So uh, the first thing that happens is uh, a bunch of heavily armored mole bodyguards rush in to a guarding position here. Go away. Taking up position at the top of the stairs. That's all four of them. And uh, begin firing bows down the stairs toward the two targets they can see. Which is, as you might expect, Scathis and Siora. Can't see me. I'm hidden. I'm hidden oh, in shadows. You, you said you were hidden in shadows. Sorry, I did. I did hear that. Yes. Right. Uh, um, just, just scan this then. I'll be performing uh, my role as the uh, as the meat shield then. <laughs> yeah. As, okay. As, as pin cushion. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arrows come hurtling in your direction. I think. What's the AC penalty to me? Uh, two points. Then I'm one of those hits. So only only the natural 20 hits, yeah. I believe it uh, should, yeah. Yeah, so that's nine points of damage to you from that, and the others all slam into the ground all around you. Um, as the uh, the guards realize they're going to have to take a little bit. To be fair, some of them probably grazed my armor or my yeah, shield. Yeah, exactly. Rushing past, pinging off your shield. Um, at the same time, by the way, Darje, you may either move or take an action, or stay really, really, really still. Will taking an action give them an attack of opportunity against me? Um, they're not in melee with you. Um, so they're actually using their missile weapons. So I'm actually, free to go. You could get away here, yes. I'm getting away. You can attack and move. Uh... Well, I can actually because I'm going to use. I was going to use my uh, cross sh crossbow, short bow, anyway. Um, so get away can, and then shoot. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I come to my friends, my good friends, hide behind big lizard. Yeah. And I'll get those rolls for you. Short bow, one, two. Okay, so the mole bodyguards are armor class 15, so one of those will hit. And you can pick one of those three at the front to, uh, to strike. Okay. Um, I'm thinking the guy on the bottom. This gentleman here. Yes. Yep, okay, give me damage there. Okay. Only one, right? Yeah. A oh, four there, I see four. Yeah, okay. four. Nice. Okay. Um, the arrow wings him. Uh, he grunts slightly. Um, you can see glares at the blood. <sighs> Fortifies his resolve. Thicket, any movement? Um, I'm inside the Argosy. Um, does... Um, I mean, does, does, uh, can I turn the catapult? Is you that yourself? Qualify as, does that qualify as movement? 
Um, being able to uh, to control uh, siege engines is a fighter class ability. Um, you probably couldn't even lift the shot with your. <laughs> teeny, it was, it was already teeny. loaded. Remember, <laughs> it was loaded, but it was turned away. Yes. But could I could I have at least go up there and direct other people to help me turn it? Okay, so everyone else has passed out. All the guards are zero level, and they blew their saving throws. <laughs> I oh. think I'm the only one who can come do it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you, well, you, in that I case... Mean, you literally run up. You, you try to push it. You cannot budge the fucking thing. It's enormous. All right, then I'm, then I'm out of ideas. Because <laughs> uh, I can't okay. cast spells, can I? Uh, not this round. No, no. you're slow. Okay. Okay. Um... Tall gentleman with a little pointy beard strides to the middle and uh, starts barking, barking orders. Wall archers, bring them down! Footmen, through the gate! Tetrides, do what you do. Um, there's some kind of inspiration thing going on there, so um, all of his buddies get a little boost to their attacks and, and what have you. Uh, Suxis. Zuxis will cast a slow, po uh, a slow poison on Scathis. Uh, do you not need to touch him for that? Uh, do I? Good one. Let me check. Uh, slow poison is touch, yes. Yeah, I will walk towards him and give him a... Um, a so, over you yeah. go. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, wait, 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 wait. No, yeah, I have to do it like this, yeah. Okay, uh, Scathis, uh, you actually have an action coming next initiative count, so um, Suxis is, uh, will, uh, will make that work for you. Um, Senex. I will try again. We've been warned that there's a uh, the filer. Do we know if there's a scion, a scion assist? What are you doing? I am going to try to cast Flesh Armor again. Yes! I just did it. It's <laughs> just... Oh, dear. And what is, your AC goes up to what? <laughs> 13! That it was goes it. 13. It goes, I get plus one. Outstanding. you still got the horrible hair, though. I oh, know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is happening to you? <laughs> what do you have horrible hair? Because <laughs> I, well, I rolled an actual one. He's not <laughs> rolling as good as he was before. Oh. Uh, <laughs> cost... <laughs> wow. Are you a werewolf? Is it a full moon? Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, can I get saving throws from Scathis, Suxis, Dajay, and Siora, please? Save against spells, all of you. Even though they can't see me? Yep. Dang, Nabbit. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Or maybe you can uh, add four pen. That's fails to. from everybody except Siora, who rolled a natural 20. So, Siora, where are we here? Uh, you are on the absolute edge of the web, which descends down <laughs> across the. Uh, across the it's bottom of the stairs. Um, you it's can get out. Bleaker and bleaker by the second. This. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, can, you can get out next round, Siora. You're trapped for one round, having managed to leap just to the side of it as the immense mass of sticky strands <laughs> covers the entire bottom of the stairs. Um, your companions, however, are fully enwebbed. Um, 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 that that doesn't really, I think, bother uh, uh, Zuxis. Okay, nice for you. Scathis, uh, you are unfortunately uh, caught in the web. No, no, hive master. You're welcome tier free. The, thank you, Carl. Yes, I know. Um, you are nevertheless captured in the web, but mm -hmm. it doesn't stop you from moving. Oh, uh, Scathis, okay. yeah, no movement for you, unfortunately. You are held in place. Nothing I can do about it? And there's nothing you can do about it, no, unless you have... Um, oh, you know what, actually? You've got 19 strength. I do. Uh, 
you can probably start to rip your way free at a certain speed. Yeah, creatures, yeah. creatures with strengths between 13 and 17 can break through one foot of webs per round. Creatures with 18 or greater strength can break through two feet of webs per round. Okay, so that's you can get out in five rounds. Sure. So okay, yeah, and the rest of the, the everyone else is going to be uh, considered to be less. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lanarush runs as fast as he can up in that direction. Uh, from the walls, these archers, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven have line of sight on you, um, and they begin to unload arrows into your group. Uh, so let's say two, four, five, six, seven. So four each there. Oh, does being webbed reveal me, or am I still hidden? Uh, they don't. They don't. They can't see you. Okay, great, great. It's it's actually a complete fluke that um, that he happened to 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 catch you in it. Um, why Sux is wounded? I can't remember that she was wounded. Uh, just change it to your maximum hit point total. It's from the last battle. Oh, okay. The sheet and the and the tokens are connected to each other. Oh, okay. Love how Lala Rush keeps running. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't love that. <laughs> he's just he's like, I don't care about anything. I'm going to die if I stay here. They really hate me. Um because of your because you were in the web, or one of those hits you. Uh Scathis, the nineteen. Um for an immense five points of damage. Okay, Suxis, your armor class is 15, so that's two of those hit you. Whoops. One. Seven damage from a pair of arrows that uh, slam into you through the webs, and finally, Darje. Four more arrows come streaking down towards you, and you're treated as armor class 13 at this point, I believe. Oh. Two, three, four. I Two thought you said that it didn't affect me anymore, the poison. Yeah, this is because you're webbed. You got a four. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, that's a six on one of them because it's a natural 20, and a three, so nine damage. Okay. To Darje um, from arrows that. Uh, that's plummet down towards you. Um, infantry, one, two, three, The others uh, come charging forward using their move actions uh, to get into position. Um, and this group of archers take up position at the head of the stairs. Oops, here. A little staggered group. Okay. And then uh, finally that round, Siora. So, um, is there is there anything that I can really do being webbed this turn? No, um, no, uh, 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 mental, like, psionic actions only. Really. Okay. Um, oh, or, you I do have... or, you, or you spend the round getting loose. I, yeah, I'm probably just going to get loose. Um, and then hopefully be able to cut my friends out next turn, if that works, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll, I'll get loose if I can. What's your strength? Uh, 14. Okay, so you can book, break through one foot of webs per round. So do I get out, or do no, I... No, she made, she made her saving throw, so she's just at the edge of it and get out. And oh, okay, 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 okay. 
Um, yeah, no, I'll just, I'll just, uh, break out of it. Um, do I need to hide in shadows again, or do I still, because I didn't attack, am I still hidden? You're still hidden. Wonderful. Um, if I have any mo- movement, I'd like to move to the side, but I don't know if I do. Say again, please. Um, I, uh, if I have any movement left, I'd like to move to this side, but I don't know if I do since I was No, you spend your, you spend your round getting out of the, out of the web. That's fine. No worries. Okay. Uh, new round. Let's have initiative from everyone, please. Um... I'm assuming that I can't do anything still, so... Should I bother rolling initiative as I get the guess one? Please, just... I'm sorry. But busy. Yep. Yeah, roll initiative. Yeah, you might get uh, neutralized. Control the general or... action. Yeah, cool. Are we all done? Mm-hmm. Um, do I did I get a penalty on my uh, on my initiative? If you're slowed, you should have you should apply a two point penalty. No, because I put slow poison on myself, so I shouldn't be slowed. Okay. But I rolled a five. Oh, of course, uh, the, the dice don't tell what it is. It's... Yeah, Gumber, what's in the chat? There's a whole ton of people on 10 there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Lana Rush keeps running and uh, um, actually vanishes off the map. But I'll just move him to the uh, to the GM there in case anybody. I should be on 12 actually, because if I get if I'm slowed, then. Got it. Okay. Um... Okay. these infantry charge around to engage the cyan assist one two three four there two hits Six damage coming your way, Lee. I absorb it. Okay. Um, one of them shouts, Mindbender! And you can hear Tethrides' voice. Yes! Coming! Agrestes continues with his exhortations, moving up and actually climbing up onto the wall here. Uh, at the same time as... The guards continue to rain arrows down upon those trapped within the webs. Only a single one gets through again, uh, Scathis. Your solid armor is providing considerable protection against you, but bit by bit, your resilience is being worn down. against Darjay, both strike home this time. With nowhere to go, you're taking increasing damage, although those are not great shots, I mean, only four points. Suxis, arrows hurtle toward you. Uh, what's your base armor class? 15. Okay. So, oh, only one of those is a hit then. One actually bounces right off your little leathery hide. And four damage comes your way. Leaving you on 18. Uh... And then from the tops of the stairs, the next volley comes hurtling down. First off, 
these guys run in this direction, clearing the route. The bodyguards stand aside, staying near Agrestes. And two, and then this group of archers move into position. Uh, you're inside the Argosy, right, Thicket? As far as I recall, yes. Yeah, still, okay. They can't see... I can't I see Siora. Uh, no, you're outside. Um, so they're going to go for Scathis at this point. I don't suppose these uh, House Shom guards are uh, are zero level fighters. These are not zero level fighters, no. <laughs> hey, it was worth worth asking. <laughs> miss, 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 miss. The arrows are getting caught, sticking. Those. That's terrible. He almost shoots his own leg off. This is just an embarrassing display. They're literally standing at the top of the stairs, firing point black down towards you. One of them manages a hit. He gives himself a little cheer. His companions look annoyed at him. Uh, but that's the only one that comes anywhere <laughs> oh in here God. to landing a shot against their completely immobile and defenseless targets who are caught in the webs. Um, really, 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 really poor showing. Uh, Scathis. Still I fighting mean, free? I what can I do? Yeah, still trying yeah. to fight free. Terrible situation was it, to be in. Was it going to take five rounds for me to get free? It's take five, so this is number two. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I've gone four feet. Okay. <laughs> With arrows flying around you on time. Oh, God damn it. In the side of the head. Dara J. Yeah. Um, I'm still stuck, right? You're still stuck. I'm going to... Do you have escape bonds? Yeah. I'm just going to check if that counts on webs. Okay. Because I don't recall off hand whether it does. I think maybe not. But I do feel sorry for you. Me too. Yeah. I wish I could help no, you. No, it specifically says not magical bonds. Okay. No. Um, well, what's my strength at? Uh, your strength is 10. Never mind. I guess I'm just sitting here. You're like... Yeah. Unfortunate. Can you hide in shadows? Uh, not that that would help necessarily. I mean, I can go you invisible. Might not get hit by, you, can go you might not get hit by arrows. Yeah, but they, they can just aim it in the web. Senex. The people. No mind bender here. Excuse me, gentlemen. And I sprint back down and I go through the wyvern thing because I'm allowed. Is that correct? Doesn't trigger with me, does it? It does not trigger with you, no. I sprint through that, run up to the top to where the catapult is. And I say, come on, thicket. Will over, will over strength. And I attempt to try to turn the catapult around using okay, I, I, sheer will. I'm going I'm to say again, uh, operating siege engines is a fighter class ability. Yeah. You might be able to turn it, but you're not really sure what on earth you'd do with the damn thing. But, uh, just but press okay. the button. Just press the button. Yeah, but, sure. Okay. Can I at least yell at them? Can I, can I like, yell instructions <laughs> to them? <laughs> no, no, do that damn thing! <laughs> Hold a lever. <laughs> That's what's making you push through the web. It's just sure adrenaline at the angry children messing with the machine. Like You know, to be honest, you do have the instructor class ability as a fighter. Let me have a quick look. <clears throat> Eight hours of training per day for a month. Mm. If, you well, want to, if, if you want to, um, to shout instructions at them, uh, Senex, you can make me an intelligence check. And this is how and the structure ability works. To it see if, it uh, does say if a fighter can operate and supervise the use of war machines. Yeah, fair enough. Make me an int check, please, Senex. Okay. Uh, sent you a message, looking Intelligent. And I sent you a message, Mark. 
Easy. Uh, you haven't seen the House Varshad Caravan. You've only heard that there uh, there's a trade delegation here. Good idea, though. Easy int check. You make it? Yes, yes you made it. Okay. Um, Scathish shouts instructions to you, uh, and you realize exactly what he's talking about. Yes. You, of course, the one-armed flay rod has come loose on the treadle. You, you just have to uh, to reattach it. I use my sheer will instead of my strength to turn this thing around. Ah, yeah, your class ability. Mm. Yes, okay. And those of you on the ground here and then see the light catapult swing about. Put it okay. into position. Fire if I can. Uh, at who? At oh, what should I, I say? I fire it at this. The, at that cluster of... of, of... <laughs> no, uh, that's not possible. You have to pick a... A 15-foot area, so it's, effectively it's one square, but... Oh, oh goodness. Uh, what about I, this tower here with yeah, the Agrestes on it? Yeah. Right here! <laughs> <He's on> it. <laughs> How do I remove all that? You can uh, just I think highlight undo... it and then delete. Yeah. Yes. I go to... Use the canister shot. <laughs> okay. Um, you need to get me. A, you need a fourteen or higher to hit the tower. Um, on a what, D, on what, a D20. what skill is it usually? It isn't anything. It's the it's the the catapult itself. Oh, okay. It attacks at plus six. So you need a fourteen or higher to hit the uh, hit the tower. Oh no! Well, what do I hit instead? Must hit something. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, okay. it's lower, so it goes shyer. It must hit at least. Right there. Just a minute. It you hits to... the guy with the golden mask instead. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> hit the multiple prang. Okay. Uh... Right, um, so it misses in, what have we got here? And six. So it's actually going to go, instead of going over there, it's going to go in this direction, somewhere around here. And it is going to miss by 2d6 times five feet. So it is going to miss by 30 feet. So, one, two, three. It's gonna, it's gonna hit this dude here. <laughs> Who's who it? Pink. This one, this one guy right here. <laughs> okay, uh, and damage is two d ten. Oh Jesus! Well, fuck this guy in particular, I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's. <laughs> It just obliterates him. <laughs> Flies. A string of curses in Surin comes from Scathis <laughs> as he sees it hit. Flying yeah. directly back at Senex. <laughs> but that poor guy is just wiped clean off the map as the thing goes wide. You're like, oh, it's missed. Oh, well, it's hit something. Splat. <laughs> yeah. What exactly did it launch at him? Um, like a rock? A, yeah, a large rock. All right, okay. I All threw right. a rock at him. It was a big <laughs> rock. It was a big rock, yeah. What's that from again? I man the animated series. Oh. Okay, uh, these archers, having failed rather terribly, um, move aside down here, and the, the four bodyguards race down to the edge of the web. And uh, you can hear Agresti's shout, now, oil, now. Um, and they come charging forward and two of them hurl flasks of oil onto the web and uh, another two produce um, their small lanterns and throw those onto the, uh, onto the burning oil. The webs are removed. However, all of you in the webs immediately take, and I wanna make sure I get this right because it's not regular oil. And don't Sur Surin's like or lizards get like that fire resistance or He's something? He's gonna take less damage, yes. 
Yeah, is it inspired. just Surin's or is it also uh, Giselle? It's, it's not Giselle. Damn. Damn. Looks like Giselle's on the menu tonight, boys. <laughs> So that's 15 damage to everybody in the web, um, except for Scathius, who only takes seven. Well, Xerxes is also a Syrian, right? I have uh, the resistance one. She also takes only seven. And poor Donna J takes 15, leaving him on five hit points. So you're right next to the webs rush up in flames the area around is soaked now with oil and because it's back and fire oil it will continue to burn for four more rounds does it destroy the webs at least it does it actually did. destroy the webs yes yeah uh, does it burn on us for four more rounds or in the area for four more rounds um On you, it's very it's a sticky compound. Great, I'm dead. <laughs> it, the, the damage gets less each round after the second round, but yeah, it's uh, it's fairly persistent. Okay, where is it? Yeah. Well, I I I, I don't know what to do. I think we're all kind of screwed. Yeah. I don't know. I have to wait for my turn. Hope that this time, don't throw something bad. <laughs> Stop, really? drop, um, and roll. Yeah, that, that will work. <laughs> at the uh, at the top of the stairs, uh, Tethrides moves into position, and he's next up. Snaps a rapid series of uh, words of magic, keeping himself clear of the others around him. There's a burst of defiling energy and a streak of magic missiles shoots down towards Suxis. Hey. Suxis is first to fall. As the webs turn to ash and cinders around her, the magic missiles fall, <laughs> slam into her body, and she goes limp. Thicket. I uh, see if I can find the beetles. Okay, so that requires getting down and going outside. Or had you move? You, you guys had moved. No, we moved them inside. Okay. Yeah. So they're presumably they're in your in the passenger compartment. Yes. And uh, yeah, I retrieved them. Okay. And um, hold them up for them to see. Well, so you go, you kind of grab them and go back on, on back onto the top. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then uh, I say, "Stop, or I destroy these." Right. And finally, Siora. Um, it's a real. <laughs> I don't know. It's a real shot in the dark. But That's I'm all I just. Got. I'm scared, so I want to try invincible foes on the main, this guy here, pointy beard man. Agristes. Yeah. It's a, it's a shot in the dark, but, um, I'm going to spend 11 points to, um, to try. Yeah. All right. Hit it. Um, I think I did, but is, is it going through? I haven't Hello? seen it come through yet. Which one do I roll? The one There's on the two left. dice. Yeah, the one on the left. Oh, okay. Oh, it shows a 20 on my screen, but I actually see that you rolled a three. No, so, let's go with the 20. Yeah. The uh, power fails to manifest in your mind, but you don't lose the points. Oh, I don't lose the points? Okay. No, no. Um, no. And I am I still am I still hidden? You are still hidden, yes. Okay. Um... um Honestly, 
I I might just I might just kind of uh, hide like over here. Get up against the uh, the flat of the cliff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I'm I'm kind of waiting to see if they respond to thicket. Um. All right, they will do so on their initiative count. Let's see what that is for this next round. Hmm. Oh, that one stays the same. Whoops, that was supposed to be initiative. Sorry. <laughs> uh, more bodyguards. Two. And Tethrides, don't roll a ten, you useless bloody wizard. A five. Okay, that's a bit better. Are we all done? Mm-hmm. We're done, all right. <laughs> yeah. Jay, you speedy little lizard. What's it to be? All right, so will moving out of this area save my life or not? Uh, that stuff is still sticking to you, so it's going to burn you. You need to find some way to get it off you. Does the Amketch um, have anywhere like that? Can like with big... You know the hot tub room? With some vats of uh, water or something? There is water in the caravan, yes. Okay, well that's what I'll do then. I'll spend my round. You could roll on the ground. Does that count? Uh, spending a round rolling on the ground, I will allow you to make a saving throw against Breath Weapon to halve the damage. And what about if I go into the arm catch and go in the water? Uh, you're unlikely to make it before the damage actually hits you. Okay, I guess I'm stopping, dropping, and rolling then. Stop, drop, and roll. Hmm. This is the damage. I thought I had to save first. I know, but save. I'm going to half that if you save. Seven damage. Or three if you save. And Darjay is the second to fall. He rolls around, desperate to put the flames out, and then horrifically his small body lies still, smoke rising from it. This is going well, guys. We're doing so good. The bodyguards close in around Scathis. Oops, not them. They're not bodyguards. These are the bodyguards. And there's death saves in AD and D, right? Like they, they're not. Are they dead? Dead, or is is there still? No, they a got chance? a minus. In the they're minus in negative hit points, and they make effectively what a death saves. They uses a different, slightly different system, but right. it's the same. But it's the same thing. Okay. Their blades ready, and the bodyguards come for you. You're quite literally on fire, glaring around yourself, Scathis, as one after the other, they launch their attacks. A miss. You dodge. That one strikes home. And the other one as well. Two blows land. 18 points of damage. Fuck it. Sorry, a nine, a nine, a twenty-three, a twenty-three, a nine, a nine. I don't trust these rolls. <laughs> that is bullshit. And Scathis <laughs> is the third to fall. Mob from all sides, hewn down where he stands. Well, it's been a good campaign. <laughs> Lana Rash keeps running. <laughs> Thicket. Uh, Tethrides is, is two initiative counts ahead of you, by the way. I, uh... 
I just, like I said, I'm holding them up and ho waiting for his response. Okay. So you, you, hold, I, I, you, you hold until you get a response. And if I, if he doesn't, if he, if his response is negative, I will just, do, if the, if the only, all I can do is move, I will drop them on the ground in front of me and just jump on them until they all <laughs> you are crushed to death. Squishy dead things. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Tethrides stride to the top of the stairs. Stares up at you. Destroy them. I'll just make more. Star! And then he blasts magic missiles in your direction. I used the opportunity because I was holding the action. I was going to yep. drop them and start jumping on them furiously before <laughs> the magic missiles hit me. Okay. The magic missiles slam into 13 irrevocable points of damage. Um, and then you are leaping up and down and there is a satisfying sound of little beetles crunching underneath your feet. That's all I can do. And then I hide inside. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm not going <laughs> to move them all around, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then these two as well. So, a total of 17 guards. I'll move them in the general area. Come swarming into the caravan. So all these dudes in this big big group here come, come charging in. Um... I'm going to do my best to hide find a spot using as apart much of my the, my abilities the, the second guy he was paralyzed by the wyvern watch yes and there's also don't forget there's uh paralyzation glyphs on the back doors yes yes um I so uh, i see a message there from uh from siora that you're staying hidden my question oh, that was more of a meme like <laughs> i was <Okay>. just <laughs> <laughs> That was just more of me memeing, like, all right, I quit, I leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, the question immediately really is for, for Senex and, uh, and Thicket. Senex, these guards are fanning out throughout the inside of the, uh, inside of the caravan. Um, you're, you're next on the initiative. You know that they'll be upon you in moments. I look at the guy barking the orders and I can now can see the other one below and I place in the commander's mind that me and his other commander whoever that may be swap places in hopes that he may bark his orders to attack me that's now below him like swapping positions yeah make that I'm not quite clear what you're describing right so this guy up here, this guy is barking the orders and firing the magic missiles, yeah? No, he's he's shouting orders yeah. up here. Tethrides down here is firing the spells. Okay, so... Right. So he, uh... Okay, so he's the magic user then, yeah? Ah! Oh. We're basically dead here, aren't we? Alright, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to place in this guy's mind, the commander, yeah? This guy's the one that's barking orders, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm going to place in his mind that I have swapped positions with this guy. Okay, how are you doing that? With hallucination. Okay. In hopes that he will command them all to turn around and kill me, and I'm here. <clears throat> Okay. He seems unconvinced by the illusion. Does he get a save, does he? Yeah, if you're intelligent designer, if you get saved against spells when you're uh, exposed to illusions. Oh, okay. Hallucination, hallucination works using the illusion rules. Yeah. It's level three, though, isn't it? So. Yep. Um, he shakes his head. Tetralis, find and kill that mind bender. Absolutely. 
the Defiler says. Okay, and at the end of the round, Siora. Um. Are we still slowed, by the way? Just a minute, please, on out. Sorry. Uh... If you haven't had neutralized poison on you, yes, you are. Okay. I. I. Can I see Lalaresh? No. I'm 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 gonna try that that foes thing again. Um try and convince this guy that he can't beat us and to flee. Yet again it fails to manifest. I okay. I just hide. I don't um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. You stay hidden. Suxis and Darjay, can you both roll me a d10, please? Okay. Success and Darjay continue to bleed. Scathis is at exactly zero hit points and doesn't. Okay, uh, active characters, please. Not the three who were down, but the other ones. I want initiative rolls from you guys, please. I guess I'm slowed, so that's a seven. So, out of curiosity, I popped a potion of healing in Darje's mouth. Yeah. Would it maybe have, like, they kept it in their mouth? And then as they fell, it then went into the. <laughs> and then finally he bites body. as the... Uh, and yeah, as, as he falls, the it finally happens. Yeah, no. Senex. Okay. Um, I say, I hold my hands up. When we surrender, and I manifest the love shield. Try to manifest the love shield. I foul! Come on! Well, I say okay. I say we surrender. They don't know I've cast I've manifested that. Alright. Um the these four the four more bodyguards here, you see them stooping around the bodies of these three fallen, um, using some kind of uh fairly thick syrupy liquid to douse the flames, some kind of al al alchemical concoction and binding and then carrying them often into Alterook and they get that far this round so next mm-hmm it is not long then before the guards find you. I walk down to them. Okay. With my hands up. The first one steps forward and produces from his backpack a bucket. No! What? <laughs> the bucket! <clears throat> Bucket of shame, right? You are bound, bucketed, thicket. Yeah. Anything from you? Do you like? Um, I was trying. You can. I was going to try and hide. I was trying to hide, but then I see Senex surrender, and I was like, there's nowhere for me to go. <sighs> Is there anywhere I can hide in this thing? No. I mean, there's they're gonna. There's, there's no secret there, compartments. There's the cargo. There is a secret compartment, but they know about it. 
Yes. There's the cargo bay. You might be able to slip out down one of the back stairs in, confu- in the confusion. I will try. I will try to slip out the 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 the, the door on on this side. Yeah. And I know there's a Wyvern Watch still active on that one, so anybody it, who's it, chasing me through that. Yeah, but it likes you, so. Yeah. Why don't you make me a dex check? Because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> you get almost to the stairs before a voice from behind you is like, Hey! I, I stand up like this. <laughs> you try and become dodge and chameleon yourself. <laughs> this way, shorty. I blend. I blend into the wall. Not one iota because I'm blue. Um, all right. I res- resign myself to my fate and, and and walk over to him. You likewise are bound. They even, they even put a second bucket on your head just in case. At least I don't have to smell his armpit. Indeed. Siora, you have the awful experience of watching half of your companions carried away as if dead. and another two led out in captivity. You have escaped notice and capture. You remain free, but your companions are prisoners of House Shom. (laughs) 